Hello folks, welcome to the stream. I am Bogus Meat Factory. Nick's coming back in right on time. Hi Nick. How Hello. Are How are you, my friend? I am alive. You are alive, this is good to hear. Uh, folks, we're, <laughs> we're continuing our wonderful world of spellcasting 101, uh, the graphical text adventure from Legend Entertainment and our good friend, our good friend, Mr. Steve Moreski. Not as Eric. Not S A Rick. Not today. Not today. S A Rick. You're on a first name. You're on a not first name there. If you're on a first initial, middle name basis That's true. with him. Minty says hello, Nick. Hey, I'm pulling up the chat right now. Yay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, we. It's been a while, Nick. Uh. Do you remember anything about this game? Um. I remember that there were boobs. And also butts. This is true. There are, in fact, boobs. Um, I, I think that's it. I think that's everything. That's all you know? That's it? That's all you got? No, I think that's that. Well, that's all there is. That's loud. There we go. Not silent. Yeah, don't listen to me. What are you doing? Um, I wasn't trying to. But no, John, that is the game. The game is... That's it. But we haven't really had any, right? We had some. Hmm. Have we? We watched some folks play uh, D and D for a very long time. Oh yes, it, was it wasn't D D and D. It was what was it called? Um, malls and monsters and malls, malls and mayhem. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's really. Um, I guess technically, what what is it that? Uh, do you, you were a, a Magic Tavern guy. Yes. Uh, they had the spinoff game. That was like um, offices and armchairs. Oh yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Similar, similar conceptually. Yes, similar conceptually. Yes. Oh, I'm so. Yeah. Why am I so white? I'm so white right now. I have to uh, use this off a of Discord thing, so I don't get to use my wonderful like you know visual filter. So I'm just so bright. I'm also pretty bright. You are bright because you're smart. There you are. Bam. Yeah, it's all up better. here. That that very be tired, freaking noggin. Yeah, it's a beautiful noggin. Malls and yeah. muggers. Thank you, Dreamship. Thank you, malls and muggers. Malls and muggers. All right, so we have the spells BIP, which is produced soft music. We have SCON, which is increased bust size. Kabul, is which is... Is that another way that... What's that? J.R.R. Tolkien... Uh, what? What? J.R.R. Tolkien? No, one second. Uh, J.K. Rowling. There we are. That was the name I was going for. Yeah. Is that a name... Uh, uh... Uh, another way in which she stole from this? How so? What did she have? It was increasing Muggles? bus size. Muggles. Yeah. Muggers? Come on. Oh, muggers. Oh, no. Come on now, Nick. That's a stretch. Okay. Um, We have Kabul, I... which is restore lost souls. And we have Frimp, which is levitation. That's our spells. Yeah. Can we just look at the... Is there a spell book? I don't recall. Uh, there is. Yeah. But that takes time. Remember, we have a time system. 
What day is today? Right. Today's Thursday at 9.25. Let's see. Let's look at our schedule. Do you recall um, why we're in the morning? Math and science is in five minutes. Fun. Yeah. We sat through a bunch of classes. Uh, mm -hmm. We saved a woman from... A dragon. And uh, from being dragon. cut in half. And uh, we saved a woman from sexual assault. Yes. Oh, that's party. true. Yes, she got she got. Roofied. However, that that seems to never stop. Uh, yeah, I, so I don't know if we've actually solved that problem, actually, or if it's happened. just a thing that happens on repeat forever. This poor yeah. woman is just constantly at risk. That's just how it is. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, well, well, until we get, I think she was until we solved the puzzle involving her, which, yeah, was, which was getting to her house. Yeah, which was the and, um the dean's house. She was the dean's right, daughter. Right, right, right. Yep, 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 yep. It's coming back. It's, coming it's all back. coming it's back. All it's all coming back. Um, yeah, there was a party at Tappa Cake of Brew, and I felt a thigh. Um, it's a thigh. We had dinner at Ticking Clock's uh, office or at house, which is um, one of our professors. And we escaped. Remember, we escaped from our dad or, or our stepdad or whatever. Yeah. Johnny Rottenwood or something like that was his name. Something yeah, Rottenwood. Yeah, was... Um... Who was laying some pipe next door? Yeah, that yeah, guy. yeah. And he was hitting on the girl that we were obsessed with, uh, Tiger, you... Tiger Lola Belly, Lola Tiger yeah. Belly, Lola Tyler, Lola Joey. Thank you, Dream Chip. Joey Rottenwood. This is all I'd say. This, um, Lola Tiger Belly. Stripping our our dream girl. Yes, and um, we uh, yeah, we escaped. Uh, we also. Pushed over or threw something at an old lady, and uh, that was fun. I pushed her and she almost died. That's my life. All right. Here's the preference. So we have now found a secret entrance to a place uh, below the um, the classroom. Um, because yeah. right, we we fr what we did we frimped it, we levitated it, didn't we? Yeah. Or something to that effect. Like we made it lighter, and then we were able to lift it. Um, yeah. okay, cool. So we're in a maze. Great. Do we want to go up or? Um, let's, we, we saved here. So this is a good save point. Let's okay. take a look we'll at what's in here. Let's, then... let's look around and then we can reload if we need to. Um, right, can you read go... that for me? Hmm? Can you read that for me? Yes. Maze room. You are in a strange location. The walls all appear to be made out of Indian corn. The floor is made of a rubbery substance. A large letter T is inscribed on one wall. There are exits uh, in many directions. In addition, there is an open trap door above you. We're in a room. It has a T on it. Okay, I'm going to uh, get... Good adventures to the left. Hold on. I'm going to get, my... get ready to map things. Well, I was going to try on a post-it note. So there's a letter T. All right. So T and then exits are... Um, Oh, we're we're on the far side. Oh, okay. Let me, sorry. There's exits west, east, southwest, southeast, and south. Um, T. West, east, southwest, okay. south. Okay. Greetings, Earl. How are you today, my friend? So good to see you. Um. All right. So let's just go west, and we'll we'll go from there. Hey, Earl. All right. So we just want to go west. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you are in a strange location. The walls all appear to be made out of Indian corn. The floor is made of a rubbery substance. A large letter Z is inscribed on one wall. Okay. There are exits in many directions. Yeah. Um. All right. Go, uh, go southeast. Okay. Southeast. Uh, oh, this is strange weird. location, Indian corn, letter G. So this is G. Go north for me real quick. I want to make sure that goes to T. Does. Okay, good. Um, Go southwest. That's E. Okay. E. And then go uh, south for me. We're going to get this all sorted out. That's an X. Okay. I have a feeling we're spelling something. Uh, South yeah. one's more for me. J. J. Okay. 
This is a weird effing word. Can you go south again for me? Well, we will be spelling something out. Um, East. You? you? Okay. Go north for me. Are we suspicious that some of these letters won't be used? V? Absolutely. I know they won't be. Um, Go north one more. I'm positive. We're spelling a very specific word. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, then go north, and it should be G. It is. Good. Um, go north again to T. Then yep. go east. This is uh, the wonderful enthralling X O X. Boo. Um, east again. Oh no, sorry. Go south. Go south. Go south. We're gonna go. We're gonna go kind of in in order here. H. H. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be spelling the at some point. Uh, go south again. Because it's T, G, E, Z, X, and H are the like the the um, the um nearby things. And yeah. like if you were f go from T to E, it'd be Z, G, X, or K is your next letter. And that's clearly not spelling anything. Um, okay, I. All right, go south once more. Or this. We might do this. Okay. Why? Why? South once more. Should be in the south uh, south edge. Oh, okay. Um, oh, east, my friend. Sorry, J. Okay, okay. and then north. Wow, this is a, this is okay. This is gonna be kind of beefy. This is interesting. We gotta look for patterns, and this one's a tough one because you like you can't solve this one because you're not mapping this out. Um, no. north. S. Yep. This. Okay. Bam. 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 There's the word this. North once more. K. Okay. North once more. Beefy maze indeed. Q. Okay, obviously we're not gonna be going to that one. Um East. I prefer my uh mazes to be made of beef. I okay. And then Oh my uh, god, it's a fudging pun. What? It's a pun. It's a pun, yeah, maze. You didn't get this? Maze, I, I maze. Didn't, I wasn't paying enough attention. SNQK? No, not quite. <laughs> not quite, Minty. Um, South once more. Nequa. You know, it, you have a certain genus Nequa. Genus Nequa. Genus Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Nequa. All right. Uh, you, uh, South. Sorry, South. It's you? Okay. Oops. Uh, what's next? Bogus plant factory. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was uh? Sorry, can you go north one more time? Sorry, just for just for me, because I think I made a not road road when I needed. Just for you. Okay, good, good, good. South once more, please. South once more to the dungeon. And then south again. W. Wah. Okay, and south once more. What? Wahoo! What? South again? I just hit enter. P. P. Uh, south once more. And that should be the end of all the rooms that we have access to. V. V. Okay. So we have this. Um, Room is on fire. No. This way. Oh. Bam. This way out. Okay. I got it. This way out. Wow. That was actually really easy to see when you visual. I can't really show you. You can't really see this. It's not. That you really see because it's also i think backwards right i oh, think so i uh, e h where's the uh where's the i right south of h that's an i john yeah that's my handwriting oh, my h i uh yep this s way way out oh yep 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 you see it that's not so bad that's not so bad. That's actually really good. Why do I feel like you need to figure out the maze from A to Z? No, no. No, it's spelling a word. It's quite clear this way out. That's the thing. All right, so we got to go um, go northwest. Then northwest. How do you reset it? Huh? How do I reset it? Well, yeah, because presumably, um, maybe I'm wrong, but like my 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 thought is that it's not that the exit is at the T, because then we would have already seen that exit. 
we would have just happened to be by it. But that no. we have to go through the room in order. You have so to. You... I think that it just matters that you start in T, and then you have to go to H and go to I, then go to S and W, right. and then A and the Y. Yeah. Like I think but that. How does it know that we've started in T? Well, by being in T. I think like it just program in programming. They're just like, um, you know, if in T then if in T then start this whole process. Yeah. So, okay. uh, all right. So Northwest again, and then North. We are dealing with magic school. It's a magic school. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, so we're at the start. So, oh wait, it should be North. Yeah. Do you go North? All right. So, um, all right. Hit more. I was thinking like with like a, like a combination lock where you would have to. Oh yeah. Yeah, Not yeah. a combination lock, uh, a spin lock. What are those called? Yeah, uh, a, a padlock, Nick. No, a padlock has a key. No, well, dial a dial a combination lock. Yeah. It's just combination lock. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, hit enter, please, because you need to do more. All right. Um. Okay. So go southeast. Sound like my professors, John. That's what she said. South. Southeast. Southeast. Then south. And south. And then east. This maze is on fire. And then east. Then southwest. Southwest. And then west. West. And then East. south. South. And then when you're ready, because it's got more. West. West. Cool. West. Why is it showing the descriptions twice? I don't know. <clears throat> and then west again. It shouldn't be. Boom. And open it fully forms leading down to the floor. Down, baby. Let's, let's go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Down. Secret society meeting room. Excuse me. Minor bug. I think a minor bug, yeah. Um, The ancient mystical organization Skull and Corn meet here in this creepy hideaway neath Melting Wolf Hall. A small hole in the ceiling represents the lone egress. You see a disbar spell box here. Wow, it's uh, doing it yes. every time. Um, all right, so uh, hold on. So, um, what's our class schedule look like? Uh, what time is it? It's one o'clock. Mythology one one is happening right now, but I think we're gonna be okay. Um, all right, so yeah, get this bar spell box, yeah. I feel like we're not missing anything now in terms of school Let's related things. No. What are I doing? Uh open. Oh. Yeah. No. You just have to do open disbar. Sorry. A finger of energy leaps from the spell box to the spell book, dazzling your eyes. When your vision returns to normal, you see that the spell box has vanished. Your score has just gone up by nine. Distantly, you hear the bell signifying the start of the early afternoon class. Uh, okay. Now it's giving us the description again. That's fine. Um, so out. Can we make a save? It's... Make a save real quick. Make a save real quick. Save. Uh, as not as Hailtoth, just in case. Yeah, Cornhole. Perfect. That's a perfect name. We went in a hole in the corn. That makes sense. Yep. I approve of That's that save. Like. You're getting better. Can you restore for me? And I want to see if it fixes that bug. Uh, what was the bug? Of uh, of showing the um the room descriptions twice. Just hit enter. You're fine. No, 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 not hail two. Just hit enter. Okay, it has fixed the thing. Um, all right, so out. Oh, Minty wants a Nick fact. A Nick fact. 
Um, if you just yeah, just you go northeast and then there, go north all the way, and you're good. There is a, a special type of uh, so Sabrina and I have been trying to get a little bit into birding, because of course we are. Of course you are, Nick. Uh, and it's doing it again. Go up. Why is it doing it in there, man? The trap door is closed. Oh, open trap door. Getting into birding. Yes. Oh, it's too much, too big to lift. Um. Okay. So, uh, we we have to um. Crimp have... door. Crimp. Crimp door. Crimp. Trap door. And then, uh, open door. Okay. Now up. There we go. All right, continue with your, your birding call. Right. So uh, we've been trying to get into birding, uh, and it's been quite fun. Uh, one of the more common birds that we see a lot of is the small little um, passeriform bird. Most of the birds we see are passeriform, which just means they look like sparrows. Um, in fact, crows are technically passeriformes. Oh, okay. Anyway. Th yes, this Nick fact has a lot of facts in it. You're welcome. It's it's got uh, it's, it's a multifaceted like, fact. It's a multifaceted right. fact. Because every fact that every uh, that a Nick provides requires a lot of context, even when it doesn't. Anyway, uh, so there is a uh, a pretty common um, uh, in the uh, West Coast uh, mm -hmm. bird that is a. Um, Woodpecker, but mm -hmm. it's a special woodpecker because unlike other woodpeckers, mm -hmm. the northern flicker, Ooh. which I have seen, Sabrina hasn't, she's quite jealous. Oh, uh, the so northern jealous. flicker uh, likes to peck at the ground Ooh. as well as in trees Ooh. to get food. Um, so it will do the same behavior that other woodpeckers will do in trees on the ground to get at uh, worms and things. Wow. Fascinating. Yeah. That's a great fact, Nick. I have a video of it if everyone see. It's quite no, cute. I'm good. Thank you. No. Did I ever send you the video of the... There's been a little groundhog that lives near our garden. No, you have not sent me anything, Nick. You have been radio silence since we played last. I'm sorry. Uh, he's so cute. His name is Michael. Oh. Yeah, Michael. His name is Michael because there's a, a guy who works at a hardware store nearby us who's Eastern European, and we were telling him about the chicken wire uh, that is in... Somebody put chicken wire in our uh, garden. Uh, this isn't a Nick fact. This is just my life. Now, it's a, it's uh, so a fact it's, about Nick. This is a fact about Nick, but it's not a Nick fact. Okay. Nick facts aren't about Nick. That's true. Nick facts aren't about Nick. Unless they this are directly related to the fact within which you're you're talking about, but that's not this isn't the yeah. case. Yeah, so there there somebody put chicken wire down and we sort of had a hypothesis that that was because there were so it's like there's soil, and then under the soil is chicken wire. Yes. Right? Yes. And we discovered this by trying to dig deeper and then finding the chicken wire. So we're complaining about this. And my sort of conjecture was that it was because there were maybe, like, small creatures. And, in fact, there is. There's Michael. Anyway, there's Michael. Uh, we're at this hardware store uh, talking to the guy there who has a thick Eastern European accent that I will not attempt to um, uh, uh, imitate. Yes. In this moment. But he, he called them wily creatures. It was very cute. They're wily uh, creatures. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That man's name is Michael. So uh, since we have found the pocket groundhog who lives nearby, who is adorable, uh, we have also named him Michael in honor of... Of Michael. Mikhail, probably. Maybe. Um. All right. Uh, hit enter here. We're in Melting Wolf Hall. Uh, sorry, we should probably read this since it's been like three weeks. Nobody remembers this. The first floor of the castle is the main lecture hall for freshman classes. Rows of lecture sheets carved with graffiti old and new line the room. Arched, arched openings lead northeast and east. A wide stair winds toward the upper floors. Doorways lead west to the court and a long hallway points southwest. A tarnished plaque is mounted next to the western doorway. A tiny wow. trap door hidden to... Uh, most eyes, but visible to the endlessly questing eyes of a veteran adventure game player like you, is set into the floor. You hear a moan of exhaustion as the heavy weight of a body collapses against your back. You turn gracefully and lower a cloaked and hooded woman to the floor. You draw back the hood to give her some air. Mom! 
It is indeed your mother. She looks terrible. Her face sunken, her hair stringy and splatted with mud, her breath shallow and labored. Her eyes flicker open. Ernie, it is you. I'm not too late. Here, take this talisman. She presses a shapeless lump of rock into your palm. Your score has just gone up by 40. A graduation nymph of yours. Congratulations. Oops, I see you're busy. I'll leave. The nymph vanishes without a trace. Your mom's eyes close for a moment. I should have told you years ago, but he said, threatened. But now you must be told about the prophecy, the seer who on the day of your birth... A massive blow hits you from behind, and as you fall, you see a pack of heavily armed men fanning out. In the last few moments of fading consciousness, a barrage of confusing images, swords flashing, boxes heaped, high on a cart, a torch being touched to a curtain, and your mother being led away at... This is where... Sword point. Much later, with the sun's low in the sky, you're roused by the shrill cry of a vulture. What the hell happened? I didn't do it. All right. Um, well, everything's in disarray, so hit enter. It's 5.05 now. Um, let's see. Is he a spell oh, book? My oh, get all. Yeah. A scribbled note is, I think, one that we need to read. Read the scribbled note real quick for me. Oh, Eddie, no, that that's I Gretchen. Can... That's Gretchen. We can ignore Gretchen. Um, get all. Spellbook taken. Notebook taken. Pack of cigarettes taken. Um, can you scroll through that, the column of all the things that are currently in the room? I just want to see something. You're using the mouse. What is this? What Gives monstrosity? The um, the plaque, popular book, yeah. Schedule, yeah. Uh, wait, what's the popular book? Uh, get popular book. Oh, okay. Read popular book? We have yet to get any girls, except for maybe our mom. Yeah, uh, that was odd. We're also, by the way, in nice mode. The game has two modes. We're currently in nice mode. You can do channel points oh, to turn us into modding mode. mode. Um, that's fine. We don't need to worry about this. Felicia, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The popular book, yeah. Like, it's so so good you can't turn it, uh, close it. Um... So yeah, you can use channel points to switch us between naughty and nice mode, uh, if you like. Uh, let's go east into what's his name's room. Where is Professor? What's his nuts? Oh, it's a simulation lab. Whoops. Go uh, north. Professor Ticking Clock's Professor office. Tinking Sorry. Clock's yeah. Office. yeah, you talk. You talk. With exits to the south and southwest. Strange curios and trophies adorn the old uh, crowded walls and overstuffed oh. shelves. And old Want some rah? Desks scarred by time. Of course you do. I thought I turned on Naughty or Nice. Hold on. I turned it on. Naughty or Nice is turned on. It should be on there. Does no one else see it? Does anyone else see it? Let me see. Let me see. Naughty or Nice. Temporarily unavailable. Why is that? Yeah, it's out of stock. Out of stock. You're out of stock, John. Okay, let me. See We've run out of naughty. Oh, nice. Let me see what's going on with that. I didn't put any any restrictions on naughty or nice, but let's see. Um. You pause. Naughty or of this type are not currently available to viewers. Manager, unpause requests. What the heck? Hold on. I like that I'm like ripple fisting. Pause redemptions. I want to pause redemptions. I have water, wine, and coffee. There. Should be good now. You should be able uh, to also, do it. Also, you can't compliment me. What's that? I also can't, can't compliment, compliment Nick. I have no idea what the heck happened there, but let me see. That's so weird. I did not do any weird restrictions on these, he and so didn't have any compliments to say, so he got rid of it. 
I didn't get rid of it. I actually activated you know his it. Wild. And it He's says like Michael, that it's available. The gopher. I meant to say gopher every time I said groundhog, by the way. Sabrina had heard me and then walked in with the phone. And she's like, gopher. Gopher, Nick. Gopher. He was so fucking cute. So cute. Let's see. It might be on a cooldown. Let me see. Oh, yeah. The Nick Fax does have a cooldown for sure. Okay. I couldn't sure. give a fuck and you can check on that twice, Naughty baby. Mode. Nice. Yeah, we're going into naughty mode. Okay. Naughty. No. Oh, we gotta move naughty mode. I'm so naughty. You are so <laughs> naughty, Nick. Did you go into naughty mode? I okay, did now naughty mode. Good, good, good. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Can we compliment Nick? You guys can compliment it, Nick as much as you like. I remember how uncomfortable this made you last time. That was during a moment where it was like, oh, she's passed out from being roofied. And the nice mode is, oh, you get what you, like, you can search her and find what you need. And naughty mode is like, you get to sleep with her. And we're like, okay, yeah. we're not doing that. No, it's fine, Mike. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Um... Hold on. Uh, cool. Nick, your beard looks especially robust this evening. That was a compliment from Earl. Yeah, it, it also needs shaving, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Okay, so go south... Oh, we should, we should, we should save, shouldn't we? Mom, mommy uh, issues? Um, no, 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 no. Um, Step on me, mommy? Da, da, da. What is that song by the birds? Who are the birds? The birds? They're like a folk band? The bees? No, not the bees. The watermelon in the trees? Oh, it, it, it is every season. Turn, 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 turn. Why turn, turn, turn? Because everything has its time, John. Your saving nomenclature makes no sense! <laughs> Is, uh, is it just because it's longer than the uh, characters or because it doesn't help you? It does not help me in understanding what the reason behind this. The, for folks to understand also, to find out what save we last had before the stream started, I had to go look at the last stream because what was this, the, the save again, Nick? Uh, hail to the victor, valiant hail to the... It, but it was hail T, of course, because it was too many letters. So hail T. Hail, hail, the Michigan. Which obviously means we're in a maze of maze. Um, yeah. Apparently, at one point, the pun made sense to me. Yeah. 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 Apparently. At some point. But the birds and the Bee Gees. Ooh. The All right. birds um, and the Bee Gees would be a great band. The game has taken a turn. That's true, it has. Okay, so Southwest... Southwest. What is yeah, like we need to go go west. Go into the to the to like the thing. Uh tiny trap door and okay. Is is school okay? Because like this place is destroyed. Right. Mm -mm, all is so, not well. Pigeons are okay. This quadrangle, oddly deserted, is the heart of the Sorcerer U campus. To the east is aged Melting Wolf Hall, the original building of Sorcerer U. Brick buildings flank the court to the north and south, and a stadium looms to the west. Brick walks also lead to northwest and southwest. In the center of the courtyard is an impressive fountain off for the first time in memory. A stone plaque is nestled amongst the shrubbery. Go oh, west. Are they playing the malls and muggers right now? The fountain is off. Cool. Get west. Yeah. Oh, that's the oh, Sorcerer sure. Stadium. Shit. Um, go go east. We gotta go southwest for the for the muggers and malls or whatever. Uh, got a tap a keg of brew. Shit. Okay. Oh, this is a small fraternity house with an exit to the northeast. Some of the furniture has been recently smashed to pieces. Oh, so recent activity. Up. Can we go up? Oh, only frat boys, bro, bros. Okay, so go um uh northeast, then south. South is where we need to go. Sorry, I don't have my map. I should pull that up. One second. Oh no! Let me pull up map. What app? <gasps> Read it, Nick. You are Read standing it. in the central lounge area of the primary on-campus dormitory. Normally a bustling place, the lobby is unusually void of activity. Your room lies off to the east. 
and a stair ascends toward the house ma uh, master's suite. There are exits to the north and southwest. Also, a hallway of ancient stone beckons to the northeast. The carpet is out of place, and one of the pillars is badly damaged. A metal plaque adorns one wall. I want to see if anything has happened to like the plaques. Yes, a house. The no. construction of this dormitory was made possible by a generous gift from Buford Frog Kissa, class of eight seventy eight. Um, go east to our room. Go to our room. How's it looking? East. Uh, somehow that pizza is still there. Okay, they didn't really touch our room. I thought maybe they would. Um, that pizza, John. Yeah, or pizza. Yeah, not food. Yeah, pizza, not food. Don't and also don't fuck it, please. Um. Remember getting that spell box from the Northwest Fraternity? It was the Southwest one, Tapakega Brew, that was the, the spell box, which we got. The Northwest one was I Felt the Thigh, which is where we got Gretchen. Sorry. That's... um, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kiss that pizza. Um. All right. So go west. There are snakes! Look out, Graham! A poisonous snake! All right, so go south. Or sorry, not south. Um, is it south? Uh, up. Go up to Ticking Clock's room. His name is Ticking Clock. <gasps> what? It's been. We are. Well, this but, is the house master. Yeah. It has been severely vandalized. Paintings destroyed. Walls defaced. Curios broken. A stair leads down to the students' rooms. An old uh, wooden surfboard is mounted on the wall over the mantel as a trophy or a great work of art might be. Look at that surfboard. The board is crafted of a strange knotty wood and bespeaks a rough and ancient workmanship. Set into the prow of the board is a gauge, a red button, and two dials. Look at that gauge, baby. It reads 100. Oh, Dreamship says, had you waited until now, you would have missed it if we didn't get that spell box from that fraternity, from Tabakaga Brew. Um, Alright, look at the... Uh, look at the dials. What would we have missed? Um, A spell box from Tabakaga Brew from going to the party. It's like, if we didn't go to the party and get that spell box, we would have lost it. Oh. Uh, left you dial. Tell me. The left dial can be set to any number from 1 to 15. All right, look at the right dial. The right dial can be set to the names of many creatures, specifically the list of critters along the side of the map you'll find in your game package. Okay, I gotta get I gotta get the the documentation. One second. Um, I can pull that up though. It's I currently set to asp. It's asp. Okay. Um, let me pull asp. up my. Let me pull up my thing for spellcasting one oh one. Very good thing, chef. Naughty or nice, indeed. Not K N O T T Y. Not uh, even nice. It is a mustache. wonderful painting. The mustache is voluminous. You are a beautiful painting. That is, that is, oh, yes. The mustache is quite voluminous. Um, hold on. I got go to go to the folder. A turd. 101. Oh, and it's going to be in docs. Docs. With the guy with the brown beard and brown hair. I'm just brown turds all the way down here. All right, so hold on. So there's Barfton, Point Blather, Sorcerer U, that's us, Port Gecko. Um, there's Puttsburg, Port Curdle, Bar New Barfton, Blabber, Upper Blabber, Spitool, Danderville, Flem. It's supposed to be a list of critters, John. Huh? It's supposed to be a list of critters. Of creatures. Creatures. Oh god, that's hold on, that's might be the wrong map. Let me see. No, that's the right that's the map. Um the list along the side of the map you'll find in your game. Oh yeah. Grub, fox, tick, boa, bat, glug, pig, gnat, asp. Um that's to asp. 
Yeah, so asp would put us, well, 15 in asp, that would put us at here, would be into the, okay, we'd so go into like the ground. So it's an XY. Huh? It, it is yeah. an XY, yeah. Um, okay. the, the number is the Y, or sorry, is the X and the, the animals are the Y. Okay. Um, let's see, having the box just sit in the room would have dodged a soft lock, although I don't know for sure it couldn't be obtained in another way. I don't think it can, Dreamship. I don't think so. Oh no, this is, a, this is a part for this one. Cause I, we're going to, we're going to go chasing. We, maybe we don't entirely know what's going on yet, but do we get the, get the surfboard? Yeah, surfboard. So I under I, I assume that the one hundred is like energy. Okay, so it's got a it's got a um it's got a safety lock on it. Hold on. All right, so none of these are gonna work with what we need. Oh, hold on. Try to print the surfboard. Um. Can we get it now? Maybe it has like moved. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. Whoa, a bolt of energy zaps your fingers, leaving the tips stinging, not to mention smoking. So we gotta find a way to get rid of that. So we we don't know how to get the surfboard yet. Um Okay, so look at the painting. That's actually exactly what I was doing. You wrote loot. Oh. I'm loot sorry. that painting got a loot that painting no the painting have been tragically defaced lovely hillary looks much better sans mustache um is there graffiti on there like what is the writing it can we or look at the um no look at look at uh don't we are a sure no. Well, oh, it would be singular. Graffiti um, is an Italian. Why don't we look at the available things to look at? That middle okay. column. Yep. All right. So let's see. Oh, we got the bed too that we could look at, but they didn't mention it, which means that it's not super important. Um, the bed is a four poster canopy. Yeah. Um. Can well, why don't you just right click on the why don't you click on the uh the graffiti itself? I mean, you could do that. No, it just okay. It just says tragically defaced, so that's not anything we can actually look at. Loot that body in the painting. Oh my, we had an opportunity to dream sir. We had an opportunity. That's the surfboard. Yeah. Oh no, don't do that. That's so loud and hurt my ear. We're good, Nick. Um, so let's go out. All right, so our next locale that I want to inspect is at the boat dock. I'm going to go to the um to the to the uh the dude, Docks. the the boss. Um yeah. so go north. North. Then go Back. west and then southwest. West. Southwest, and then oh, is the skull still there? It is. Oh, see, look at this. Say, read it. You would you like to read? I'll read it. Sure. With interest in sculling and other aquatic sports declining, the boathouse has gone the way of termite fodder, and nothing remains but a wat rotting wooden deck jutting into the river to the south. Curving paths lead back to the campus to the north and east. Nearby to the northwest, on a gentle knoll at the edge of the river, stands the president's house. The door has been smashed open in oh hold on whoa um you see a skull here no. an old man beaten and bloody is lying on the dock he looks up and you recognize professor peeler of small figs who you recall was the other person that professor ticking clock said knew the secrets of the sorcerer's appliance you're you're young eagle beak he says weakly they've got it they've taken the appliance he coughs weakly and spittles a foamy blood spray from his mouth. It was the newspaper staff. He kidnapped the staff and replaced them with his thugs. Used the newspaper office as a center of operations. 
knew that nobody would notice. Nobody reads the newspaper anyway. A fire suddenly burns in his eyes. The Ducato, Professor Ticking Clock, also, he knows the secret of the appliance. You must find, <coughs> must find. He slumps to the dock, lifeless. Search body. Sure, take body too. Um, search professor. That's not auto. Auto ticking clock's not here. This is figs in mouth. It, no, d -d 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 professor, yeah, please. Oh, the only thing you discover is the fact that you don't like searching corpses. Um, all right, that's fine, Nick. In. Good morning. In Nick. In. That means it's not important, Nick. In. It's important to me, John. What about the player and the player's agency, John? What what motivation do you I have to take so the corpse? Constrained. Why? What are you gonna do I with that? Take it. What are you gonna do with it, Nick? We puppet. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. A weekend of Bernie's situation? No, uh, Don't in. mind when my hands would be anatomically in this man. Nick, in. In. The opulent dwelling of Sue's president has been thoroughly looted. A large desk of polished bodonga wood blocks yeah. in the corner. And a door leads southwest. An empty, shattered display case occupies a prominent spot in the room. Look at that display case. Okay. Um. Suddenly, we start playing Zork. Right. Start putting everything in there. No, that's mm -hmm. where the that's where the machine was. That's where the sorcerer's appliance was. Um. Okay. So then, out. So we have to take the surfboard to go after them. Right. We don't know where they've gone. Right. Yet. So or we still have to, to get we have to search. Like let's um so go uh go north. North. Then go east. East. Then northwest. Northwest. Is this the cafeteria? No, it's I felt a fire. Um, oh, I see. Okay, that's nothing. Uh, southeast. Southeast. North. North. You have entered the school cafeteria, but there isn't a soul in sight. The cafeteria is relatively unscathed by the sacking of Sorcerer University. Unsurprisingly, the looters found nothing of any worth here. Exits lie to the north and south. North. Donkey Dung Hall. Okay, there's nothing here. Um, So south. The only other place we haven't gone to is the library and the simulation lab. So I'm guessing the library might have something for us. Mm -hmm. We have been in every room in the university now. So if you go south, then east, and then up. Did we ever try to take uh, talking to the crab? We did dream ship, yeah. All right. This is the vast university library. It is a gloomy place illuminated, illuminated only by narrow strips of stained glass windows. The room is ringed by tiny alcoves filled with small statuettes of former university presidents. An almost ladder-like stair leads up to the stacks. A small sign is mounted at the foot of the stair. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh... Access to the stacks is restricted to upper classes. Okay. And up at the stacks was how we got that book, the popular book that you can't put down. Um, so uh, down. Go down. And then um, east. It's the same lab. So here's the thing. We have looked at every room. We've learned that they've taken the thing. We have seen right. everything. We have gotten all the stuff. Oh, uh, what? Did, oh, oh, we didn't read what that. We didn't read what the spell we just got was. What was the spell we got? What did it do? I didn't mark it down. Uh, 
Duh. What was it? Um, what's it? It's not Scon. It's not Kabul. It's not Frimp. It's not Bib. So just um, so I uh, just no. Oh, Remove magical fuck. protection. Duh. But hold fuck. on, hold on, hold on, Nick. I have a I have a theory. I have a theory. Dumb. Nick. Yeah. We can sleep. That's fine. I don't think we have a time situation here. I really don't think it's it's important anymore. Uh, Dreamship says, Looney Uncle Mo always enjoyed a good, inanimate conversation. Nick. Yes. Sit in chair. As you settle into the hard chair, a disembodied mechanical voice reverberates through the chamber. Student Eaglebeak, Ernie, freshman class, advisor, Otto, ticking clock, begin auto installation of simulation spells. Completed the simulation will begin in five, four, three, two, one. Far side of moat, a deep moat, its banks lined with razor sharp, ro ro razor sharp rocks, forms a barrier to the south. An ancient tree leans over the moat. In happier surroundings, you can imagine children drawing a, a hefty rope to its lowest branch and swinging into the water. Okay. Read our spell book right now. Read. Won't that take a turn, though? That's fine, Nick. Read spell book. Okay. So, Vi... Hey, hold on. I'm writing these down. Because you remember what happened when we failed, Nick? Or when we succeeded? It doesn't matter. Do you remember what happened? Uh, She dies? No. What happens afterwards? I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? I remember, Nick. A professor comes and takes our spells that we got from here. Right. But guess where everybody is? Uh, dead. Not here. <laughs> Truth. I'm writing these all down. I believe this is going to be a thing. Um, can you... Uh, let's see, uh, like, jump in water or something? Huh? Jump in water? I don't know. Like, just... You want me to die? Yeah. Jump in water? Water. Water. Water? Yeah, the world dissolves around you. Perfect. Sharp rocks open a few veins, which really whips the crocs and paradas into a hungry frenzy in your dinner. Perfect. Hit enter. Score oh. by three. He's gone. Yep. We got the spells. We have them. So we have Vi, Gub, and Zem. Healthy plants, diseased plants, and increased fighting capabilities. We also have that ability. What was what was that spell? Sorry. What was the spell that is dissolve things? Is it dissolve? Dis disbar. Disbar. Right? Disbar? disbar. Yeah. Where, yeah, it breaks the protection. Okay. Break magical, magical protection. protection. Okay, go to our room. We can go to sleep for the night because we're tired. And we're going to see what happens. Let's I'm ready. Have to these things all over again. Oh, we, oh, well, I mean, I guess Dreamship, if we hadn't done it already, I would think that we probably would have to, but we already did. So go southwest. And go east. And then sleep. You the slide to the floor and fall asleep. You are wandering through the corridors and melting will fall. It's the day of the spell casting 101 final exam and you can't remember where you left your spell book. You wake up rested, refreshed, and eager to face the world. Your room, this is either your room or the town dump. And since you don't have keys to the town dump, it must be your room. The door leads west, blah, blah, blah. We still have the talisman. Let's look at the talisman that our mom gave us. I thought we didn't have it. Sorry. Look at talisman. It's just an ordinary little stone, but now, as you gaze more deeply at it, there seem to be little bits of movement in its crevices, as though incredibly tiny worms or beetles lived in every crack and cranny. You can't even begin to guess at its purposes or powers. All right, uh, uh, so, uh, take all. Take all, or give me my pizza. Okay, um, and then we go west and then up. West. We lost all those guests. Well, I think maybe Dreamship that I think just passing the exam just gets us points. Um and that's probably just it. Like it's it's a way to like, oh hey, you didn't one hundred percent it. Find out where you missed some points. 
Uh, all right, so disbar. Disbar. Surfboard. Oh, you spelled surfboard wrong. Surf award. The surf award. Nick, I cannot tell you how much I love playing these with you, and I wish that you didn't have to get your doctorate. <laughs> I mean, I technically don't have to. You should. You should. It is a choice. Um, that I so make. get the surfboard. Uh, is it getting dark in here? In your room, yes. Ah! Uh, is that too bright? Hey, you're fine. You're just angelic. Uh, so get the surfboard. Surfo Bordo. No, not Surfo Board. Ooh. Oh, open spell box. A thin of energy leaps from the spell box to uh, to the spell book, dazzling it's, your eyes. It's blubber. When your vision returns to normal, you see that the spell box has vanished. What is blubber? Look, blubber. Um, read spell book. You don't want to read that. No. If you've seen one blubber spell, you've seen them all. Um, all right, keep going. It's level three, it looks like. Summon, Summon a whale. whale. Ah, suddenly I fall from the sky. Uh, no petunias, though. Um, okay, so out. Out. Kiss some okay. frogs. All right. Um, so then, go. can we go west? No, it's so weird that you can go east from the dock and be in here, but you can't go. Go hit out. West. Go out. Go out. Out. It takes the back on a court. Never mind. West and then southwest. West. All right. I'm gonna look at this map. Um. So like, let's. Yeah. I just wanna. I wanna know like. So we're in Sorcerer U. So we're at Half. four grub. And like what happens if we go we'll have to save, save, save. We're we're surfing USA. Oh no. Bitch boys, how about that? Is that better? I will not be. I will not be triumphed upon. What does that mean? Remember, uh, it, it is a paraphrase. So Nick back. Uh, a friend told me about this, which it, it was it was quite funny. Uh, there there was a a build a bear um, yeah. series that was like. Uh, punk rock ladies of the past. Uh, and there was one where the Build a Bear had a, a t shirt that had a picture of Cleopatra. It said Cleopatra and it said, I will not be triumphed upon. Do you know why that's a bad bear? Why is that a bad bear? Do you know what the triumph is and how she avoided it? Uh, the Roman uh, acquisition of Egypt. So a triumph is is celebration of military uh, conquest. Yeah, that often involves the uh, parading of political prisoners. Yes. So when she said, "I will not be triumphed upon," what she literally means is, "I will not be a political have my prisoner." Body dragged through the streets of Rome as I am alive, and then I will not be strangled to death in front of the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus in a ritual non-human sacrifice move. The the Romans, quite fun. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you know how she avoided that fate? By get, by getting with what's-his-nuts. No. No? What, getting how? with what's-his-nuts is what got her into that. Oh, job. position in the first place. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because so she was originally with Caesar, and she had a little baby boy named Caesarian, but Caesar dies. Yeah. Uh, and names Augustus, Octavian at the time, his mm -hmm. uh, successor. Giving away those channel uh, points for free, I get it. 
Yeah, Why yeah, milk yeah, the yeah. cow? Yeah. Why pay for the cow if you can get the milk for free? I'm a fact slut, John. And you I you are. You friend. are a dirty, dirty fact slut. You will not uh, be anyway. fact shamed. Let's continue. Uh, so, uh, Augustus. Yes. Uh, so after Caesar dies, Cleopatra starts dating Mart An Mark Antony. Yes. Uh, Mark Antony cheats on his wife. Uh, starts stupping uh, Cleopatra. Mark As Antony and Augustus go to war, um, and Mark Antony loses. As one would. Um, as, as he would. And Cleopatra, I will not be triumphed upon, how does she avoid Augustus dragging her through the streets of Rome and then ritually sacrificing, well, excuse me, ritually killing her in front of the temple of Jup uh, Jupiter Optimus Maximus? Uh, she dodged that. She seduced the child? No, suicide. She killed herself with oh. an asp. Oh, um, with an asp? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. So this is a build of air for young girls. That talks about that suicide. I will not be triumphed upon. When the person who uh, said that uh, dodged that fate by killing herself. You know what I have to say about Cleopatra? Yeah. She's got a great asp. <laughs> it was a good asp. A live asp? All right, Nick, let's get back to the game. Come on now. Um, all right, so... Uh, put yeah, no one will triumph um, over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let That's me get great. my map up. I want to just... We're testing something here. Um, so I want you to turn the left dial to three. Turn left dial to a three. The number three. But, three. you know... Turn left dial to that. No, the letter, th the number three. <laughs> How about that? No, the, the right, number three. Right, the number right, three. Not Trace. Oh, my God, Nick. You're going to drive me crazy. That? I love you. Please, please. No, not Toa. It's not a menage. It's not a menage day. Oh. No. Please, write or type the number Three. No. I'm going. I'm going to scream. This is how he gets me. He holds his power over me. Not sure how one would be killed by a dead asp unless it involves strangulation. Ooh. Auto erotic asphyxiation by a dead asp. Um, alright, and then turn the right dial to grub. I just want to know what happens. I'm I'm trying. So I want to see. Put surfboard in water. Um. Push red button. A deep voice comes from the direction of the surfboard. It speaks in the ancient tongue of. Spatool. Fortunately, you spent a term studying old Spatool, so you can pretty much make out what it's saying. Warning, the traffic at Balcoral City is heavy and hazardous. If you want to disregard this warning, just press the button again at this time. Do it. Press red button. Button. The surfboard takes off like a bat out of hell. We is bottle ocean on the surfboard. The sea stretches to the horizon in all directions. You sail upriver past the campus of Sorcerer U. As you near the busy waters of Balmoral City, you are crushed between a passenger ferry and a grain barge. Nice. Okay, restore. Oh. All right. So oh, we, we were a level three sorcerer. Honestly, I yeah. can. I can. I want to rest on our laurels. No, our score is one hundred ninety six out of a thousand, Nick. Yeah, we're doing fine. Restore. 196? Yeah. Out of 1,000? Out of 1,000. Over 10%. Hooray. Almost 20%. Can you please restore? When was the last time we saved? I once at saved and activated the surfboard without getting on it just to see what would happen. Did it go? Um. All right. So let's, let's do this because their map has some islands on it that look of interest all right so let's do um 
turn left dial to six, the number six. Turn right dial to tick. No, don't save. You don't have to save. That's fine. Um, get on surfboard, yeah. I just don't want to tell it to I don't want to do that a bunch. We're gonna have to probably again. Um yeah, push the red button. Is it possible to get a perfect score? I don't know, that's a good question. Nineteen point six percent, it's almost a D plus. <gasps> there was a fish. Or was it a dolphin? Fish. Hey Nick. It's nine forty five AM and it's ten oh four PM here. Um, okay, so wait. Wait. Yeah, I see the fish. Not a fish. Chapter 3. A woman told her disobedient son, Seymour, I'm going to take a bath. Stay here in our yard and don't run off. But as soon as he, uh, she settled into the tub, he ran off. Wrapping a towel around her waist, the woman ran out into the yard yelling, Seymour, Seymour, Seymour. Just then a man came strolling down the street and responded, Lady, I don't want to see no more. I've seen enough already. Perfect. Bravo. This reminds me of a very, very body uh, Aesop's feet fable. If yeah. If anyone is, wants to hear it. No. That's a Nick Somebody... Fact. Somebody I'm reading this. So that way I can tell a very inappropriate fable. No. Meadow on the surfboard. A grassy meadow runs right to the water's edge. A large sign has been erected here, clearly to catch the eye of anyone arriving on the island. Paths leave the meadow to the northeast, east, and southeast. A fire is burning intensely in the center of the meadow. Enter. Score went up by 20. Uh, read sign. No one wants to nick pack you, Nick. That's sad. It's so good. Welcome to the We're Island of Lost the Souls. Population 80. Below, someone has scrawled, listen to our story, O Traveler, and then help us if you can. We were always content being the island of lost souls until by and by some grew tired of the constant splinters and blisters and summoned a famous cobbler from a distant land waldo bootlacer he performed remarkably and for the first time in anyone's memory we had souls unfortunately due to a bank error our check to bootlacer bounced thinking that he was being cheated he contracted the evil warlock lars stormkiller to enact revenge upon us stormkiller cast a horrible spell which has transformed us from the island of lost souls to the island of lost souls at least Damn. until some kind-hearted sorcerer arrives to restore us the spell has entrapped us one by one in non-human forms only i Blaze, mayor of the island, remains human, and even now I feel a f. Guess what spell we have, Nick? I um. Disbar. No. Kablaba. Kabul, restore lost souls. Blubba. Kabul, the fire, fire. please, because that I... is the mayor. Blaze. Yes. I see the pun this time. What is it with them in the A's puns? I don't know. Uh, it, just do the fire. 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 Not blaze. Do the fire. A customer support nymph appears before you. The Kabul spell should be cast on the name of the person, John. I stand corrected, Nick. Not on the name of the object in which their soul now resides. For example, cast Kabul spell on Derek rather than cast Kabul on the construction vehicle. This message has been provided by the technical support staff of Glitterberg and Sons Incorporated, makers of fine spells and other magic accessories since... 1244. Flashing a mischievous grin, the nymph fades away. Okay. 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 You know what to do. Oh, please spell that correctly. 
No, please spell that correctly. A gust of wind extinguishes the fire, leaving behind a red-faced man with flaming orange hair. He shakes your hand warmly and departs. Cool. Hey, Starbucks Rain, how are you? You actually didn't hey. know to do this without looking it up. Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? If you didn't think about Blaze being Blaze and, like, getting those names right and thinking to do the Lost Souls. Um, alright, so hit enter. Oh. The fire has left part of the hayfield blackened and sooty. Lying in the field is a leg joint. It seems to have sustained some damage from the fire. A flying insect is buzzing around the powdery embers left behind by the fire. Oddly, it seems to be searching for honey. The fire has left part of the hayfield blackened and sooty. Okay, um, uh, okay. We don't know their names yet. Correct, that is the... Can the we, problem. can we save, save for me? Just finish a new PC. Nice, congratulations and welcome back. This, this save makes sense, but it also doesn't. This field is on fire. All right. It, it both um, makes sense and doesn't. All right. I got to start making some rooms. Um, Where are we at right now? What's the name of the place we're in? Uh, uh, the okay. Meadow. Get off surfboard. Get off mm -hmm. surfboard. Northeast. Northeast. In, in the, the forest. forest. You are in the midst of a recently planted forest. It was originally an old growth forest, but Oregonian lumbermen cut it down sometime during alpha testing. There are trails to the south and southwest. Oddly considering the hour, the sun is hanging on the horizon to the east. Oh. A number of trees have been felled and chopped into pieces, either for lumber or for burning in a stove. The pieces have piled, and the piles all form a single straight line. Okay, so follow the line of wood. Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh, no, hold on. A strong wind is whipping through the branches of the trees and shaking the undergrowth. Winter's approaching, They're and many trees are changing quaking color. Aspen. No, what's happening here, Nick, is that like all of these things... The sun, all of it, is a person. The sun right now, it's oddly hanging mm -hmm. in the east. That's a person. There was how many? 80 in total? We're going to find the name of all these people and, and, and Kabul them all. Yeah. Is it Kabul? Now, yeah. It's not that weird that it's hanging in the east. It's 10.15. In, in the, the a.m. Yeah. The sun rises in the east. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Moon is approaching and many trees are changing color or already bare. The tree closest to you has just lone, a lone bit of foliage clinging tenaciously to a branchlet. Overhead in the branches of a tree, you can see a twiggy, grassy bird home. It is occupied, however, not by birds, but by ornamental vases of the sort often used to store cremated remains. A pack of dog-like carnivores is lurking in the undergrowth. They seem to be humming the theme from West Side Story. You see a red-breasted bird here. Robin? Kabul Robin? I want to I wanna, I wanna kind of get a feel of the, the landscape first. I want to see where everything is and map out the place so that way we at least know where things are because there probably could be a clue somewhere. So let's go south. I'm no, don't Kabul Robin. Out. What was the name? Okay, Kabul Robin. <laughs> By all means, you did it. As the Robin lands, it takes on the form of a young man. At least you think it's a young man. It's hard to tell under the mask and cape. Holy restored souls, don't worry, Batman. I will catch that evil warlock, Lars Stormkiller, and bring him to justice. In a wink, he is gone. Uh, what were the dogs? Um, they were, they were, uh, hit enter one more time. They were carnivorous, a pack of carnivorous dogs. A strong wind is whipping through the branches of the trees and shaking the undergrowth. I think, like, the clue is in the description. Yeah, maybe. Like, blazes of fire. Yeah. So, like, they're all puns. A twiggy, grassy bird home is a nest. 
Yes. Ernest. Earn the the thingies. It's Ernest. Ernest. Oh, I like this puzzle. I like this puzzle. It's Ernest. It's Ernest because there's urns in it. There's sort or, or ornamental bases. Yes. Ooh, I like this like puzzle, that. Mike. I like this puzzle. This is this like is good. Or... I'm like clapping. That. Um, I try try that. Yeah. A man comes crashing down out of the tree where the nest used to be. Don't worry, I'm really all right, he insisted earnestly, and I want to really thank you for restoring my soul. Bye. Okay. Look. <laughs> Simon says, I really like your art in this. Never ceases to crack me up. Isn't it great? I love the art. Um, okay, so... One of my favorite, what's your favorite Oscar Wilde play? There's a correct answer. Name the Oscar Wilde plays. The importance of being earnest is the only one I know, and it is the right one. Okay. Um, there are trails. Okay, so... Um, hold on. So, all right. Miniature, the tree closest to you has a lone bit of foliage clinging tenaciously to a branchlet. So, leaf. L-E-I-F. L-E-I-F. I would not have gotten that one. The tree yeah. is now completely bare, except for the muscular man with the red hair and beard, who is hanging from one of the highest branches. He lets go, and despite his considerable size, flutters gently to the ground. Leaf gives you a friendly clap on the shoulder, which sends you sprawling before blah, 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 blah. Heading into the forest for a little exploring. All right, so now it's just... So we got to look again, because I don't We remember. have dogs with West Side Story. And we also have... So we have a number of trees... That have been felled and chopped into pieces. Either for lumber. Hold on. Or for burning in a stove. Okay. The pieces so it... have piled and the piles all form a single straight line. We okay. have a strong wind whipping through the branches of the trees and shaking the undergrowth. Oh, August. August. Aug August, yeah. August is what that one is. Okay, well, I'm gonna write that down because I want to like get these all solved first. Don't don't kaboom because we're gonna look yeah, again yeah. and that's gonna waste time. So August. A pack of dog-like carnivores is lurking in the undergrowth. They seem to be humming the theme from West Side Story. So, what do we know about West Side Story? Um, I mean it's a musical. It's on Broadway. Also, Dream Shift, do you have a classics background? Because Nestor is a is a strange name to go for. Uh, you were thinking Nestor? Oh. No, Nestor is a, is a game. There's there's Nestor people named in games. Well, Nestor's in the uh the Iliad. You're in the Iliad. I, yeah. We I totally gotta make you play. I totally gotta make you play um uh the Book of Watermarks. Do you know what that is? The Book of Watermarks? You're a Book of Wet Marks. Do you know what the Book of Watermarks is? What it's a reference to? What It's in something. It's in a, a play. A Shakespeare I mean, play. I oh, I, then I definitely don't know it. The Iliad. That's not a Shakespeare play? No, The Tempest. Tempest. Tempest, sorry. Oh, you said Iliad. That's why I said that. Tempest. The Tempest. <laughs> um, Where you have to help The Tempest get his books back. I don't remember his name. Um, all right, them. sorry. A pack of dog-like carnivores is lurking in the growth. They seem to be humming the theme from West Side Story. What's the theme from West Side Story? That I don't know. Okay, what's the theme to West Side Story? What is the theme? I like, it's the sharks and West the... Side Story. Um, what's the, what's the theme song? Uh, the famous song is Maria. So, Kabul Maria. No. Okay. Strong wind whipping through the branches of the trees and shaking the ender. That's a gust. We know that. August. Yeah. 
What? Augustus? No. Okay, um, hold on. Look at the look at the dogs. Okay, no. Okay. Retrieve them and sell them. And chopped into pieces. Um, because like that would be uh that wouldn't be lumber. It would be uh kindling. Or, firewood. yeah, firewood wouldn't count. Like that wouldn't be. You know. Um. Okay. Um. Um. Pack all those. Okay. Why don't we go south? Why don't we go south? Let's let's go south. I want to see more. Please. Oh. We're standing. The west of a white house. Oh my and gosh, that's Pads lead away from the house to the northeast, a oh, west, blah, 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 blah. Hold a on. Large metal playset for climbing and swinging and other fun children stuff is sitting in the yard next to the porch. Okay. Um, Fort Wooden Dell. Uh, Hold on. Something the wall of the porch. It's probably intended for the hanging of outerwear. The auto must have a flat tire. A uh, device has been used to lift one of its wheels right off the ground. Yeah. Jack. Jack. Couple little Jack. Oh, got it. All right, let's. There's a list. lot here. Holy crap. Hold on. So we got Jack. A couple little Jack. A Hold number on, of male passengers are sitting in the automobile. Um, Guys? Guy? Guy's a name. Guy? Okay, let's 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 put that down as a theoretical. Um a small metal device for opening locks is hanging on a nail here. It's inscribed with tiny lettering. Okay, we'll probably have to look at that tiny lettering. Uh because key, a right? Going, but a button glowing from within is mounted on the wall of the house right next to the front. That's door. a doorbell. So Bell is the name? Or... Maybe Bell. You're right. Maybe Bell. Also theoretical. Um, a rectangular bristly pad sits on the porch just in front of the door. That's a a shoe thing. Rectangular a... bristly pad. That's your that's your shoe brush. That's for cleaning your shoes. I don't know what it's called though. Matt. Matt? Matt. Matt. Yes. Okay, so um, let's start with Jack. I see a hand up there, Dolly. Dolly! Oh, Dolly! Hello! Okay, so let's start with Matt, uh, Jack. Jack? I'm pretty sure Jack is right. I'm positive you're right, too. Yeah, we're right. The auto sags a bit, and you notice a man trapped beneath. A moment later, he lifts it off his chest and stands up. You see that he is a big fellow who looks strong enough to lift well automobiles. Being pinned under an auto is no picnic, but it sure beats being a lost soul. He extends a powerful hand to you. Put her there, pal. Okay. Kabul uh, guy. G U Y. Nope. Okay. okay. Kabul Bell. No. Oh. Uh, e. B E L L E. There's an E at the end there. Okay. Nailed it. You spy a beautiful woman elegantly raising her frilly silken hoop skirt oh my. as she steps off the porch. Her dark hair falls in ringlets, a stark contrast against her pale, delicate skin. Whoever you are, I've always depended on the kindness of sorcerers, but I must be getting back to the plant. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, it's gone Father with the wind. Father so worried. What? It's gone with the wind, Nick. Yeah, I know. That doesn't make it better. Yeah, you'll be fine. As God is my witness. I'll never be kabooled again. Wow. And you're welcome. I always thought a dolly was used to wheel boxes. That's a handcart, too, right? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, we're going to figure them out ourselves until we don't know. A woman in an evening dress, draped with a feathery boa, Slowly descends the uh, porch stairs, singing, Hello, Ernie. 
But hello, Ernie. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. Is that really the song? I have no idea. Hello, oh, Ernie. Well, hello, Ernie. Yeah. I've not seen Hello, Dolly. Wow. Odd. You've never been here before, but before you have a chance to figure it out, let alone figure out where all those dancing waiters and jazz musicians came from, they're all gone. Kabul, Matt? Matt, yeah. Oh, two T's, Nick. You know, you to, you're gonna need to ask me. One T, John with no H. You're gonna need to ask me. I don't know of a single Matt with that or just one T. Thank you. A sour-faced man is now sitting by your feet. I suppose you think I should be grateful. Forget it. He notices your hurt expression. Yes, I know I'm bristly. You'd be too if you've been walked on by people your whole life. He stomps away. Look. Look. So you're standing on the west of a white house. An automobile is parked here. So car, vehicle. Oh, uh, the that's Jim. J-I-M. Why Jim? Jungle Jim. Oh, the large metal playset. Play um, a short, uh, short wooden, dowel. wooden dowel. One second. I'm writing down Jim so we don't forget. I have it written down too, Nick. Don't worry. A short wooden dowel. Why does it do that? Oh, what? there it is. Protrudes from the wall of the porch. It's probably intended for the hanging of outerwear. Okay, so that is Wait, a rack? I'm... Huh? What? Rack. Rack and... Rack. Line, um... A short wooden dowel. Yeah. Protrudes from the wall. Peg. Peg. Like peg. Peggy. Yeah, like peg. Yeah, P-E-G. I think that's what it is. Um, a number of male passengers are sitting in the automobile. Male passengers sitting in the automobile. I don't know this one off the top of my head. Um, can you... Yeah. So what do you call ma uh, passengers? I don't know. Passengers. Another name. Not people. Travelers. Um, um, well, let's look at synonyms for passengers. Synonym. Um, but I feel like men is the thing. But. So key. Traveler, commuter, voyager, rider. R-Y-D-E-R. -E yeah. Try that. A little writer. No. Uh oh. Okay. No. All right. Um. Kabul peg. Nailed it. A little girl wanders down the steps from the porch. Where's my daddy? He promised to take me to the circus. I didn't realize she, her quote hadn't ended. Because, yeah. Anyway, she fights back a sniffle as she toddles off. All right. And then pe uh, Peg. Uh, Kabul Jim. J-I-M. A V-shaped man with the physique of a bodybuilder stands in the center of the lawn, his oiled skin glistening in the sunlight. He strides towards you, his ample muscles rippling. Thanks, bud. He shakes your hand with a grip that leaves your hand bones the approximate consistency of dry sand. Well, time for my workout. See you. Okay. So uh, now... So automobile. What is the... What's a brand of, of lock? Of padlock? Brand of padlock. Um, so there's master lock. An automobile, so a car. Um, if Ford, Chevy, General Motors, um, or a key, maybe it's a key. Sorry, or any of the names, Lincoln for the car, Lincoln, sure. Nope, no, what is it called again? Oh, no, no, no. Um, I don't think that's the 
auto? You want to do? Oh, Jesus! You want to do auto? O T T O. O O T T O. Yeah. No. Okay. Auto doesn't seem to be here. Um. A small metal device for opening locks is hanging on a nail here. It is inscribed with a tiny lettering. Can we read the lettering? Yours. Inscribed lock opener first. The lock opener. Mikey! It's Mikey! It's my key! That's good. That was good. That's dark. A little boy bounds towards you, chews on some loose paint chips, and pops a few stones into his mouth, then takes a sizable bite out of your ankle. Hi, I'm Mikey. I'll eat anything. He zooms away, stuffing handfuls of grass and leaves into his mouth. Tr Give it to Mikey. Yeah. Mikey likes it. Hey, Mikey. What am I kidding? It's a... Mikey? That's a... That was a commercial. Way back in the day. A serial commercial. Hmm. Um, he'll eat anything. Give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything. Oh, hey, he likes it. Um, All right. So, uh, so now it's just the passengers, and is that it? This is the male passengers. Yeah. And the car. They're assuming the car is a separate thing. I don't think so. If they're sitting in the automobile, I don't think the automobile is the thing. Okay. So, guys in a car. Dude. Uh. Let's see. It's got to be something that would yeah. be plural. In a car. And and the name. Let's see. Bin? Bin? That doesn't make any sense. Vehicle identification number. For men, male passengers in a car? Hmm. Is, hold on, hold on. Are sitting in the car. Can you try R I D E R? Maybe that's just how, or like maybe yeah. R H Y. Like we we R H Y. Yeah. No. Um. Just do R I D E R and see if that is it. No. Okay. Do you want to come back to this one? Yeah, we can. Okay. Um. So south. Down by the riverside. What is that song? I don't know. The forest, which can be entered to the north or northwest, uh, ends here at a wide clearing. A small stream spills through the center of the clearing. A wooden structure spans the stream. A pronoun stands atop the structure. At one end of the clearing is a beachy spot of granular soil where the stream can be crossed. At the other end of the clearing is another spot. Hold on, so hold on. A small stream. All of these That's brook. Brook is the small stream. B-R-O-K-E. Um... A wooden structure spans the stream. A pronoun stands atop the structure. Um, so... Wait, wait, wait. So a wooden structure spans the stream. So a wooden structure is a bridge. Bridge. Bridget. Bridget, yes. Oh, my God. That's perfect. How do you spell Bridget in this case? Um, I, well, I would say... No, no, no. I would do B-R-I-D-G-I-T. Right? Bridge it. Yeah. That's we'll how I do that. it. Um, at one end of the clearing is a beachy spot of granular soil where the stream can be crossed. Sandy. Sandy, yeah. At the other end of the clearing is another spot where the stream can be crossed. This stop spot is surrounded by steep rock. Uh, so it's a mountain. A dam. Adam. Adam. Yeah. I see. Yeah, get it. Apparently someone has been uh, fishing here. By the side of the stream bed are a fishing pole and a fish hook. The hook ends in a sharp point, which is intended to keep it stuck in the fish's mouth. Um, 
Sarpedon. A what? Sarpedon. Sarpedon. What are you? He, he's he's a character in the Iliad who dies, uh, as if being hooked like a fish. Yes, Nick. That's what it is. No, what's the name of the what? Uh, what do you call the end of a hook? What do you call the, the end, of, end a of a hook? Um, let's see. Or rings. Okay. Let's see. What is the, what, what are the parts of a hook here? Um. Worm. In addition, it serves a grab latch when attached to one of the objects. The hook's designed to allow traction forces to be relayed. Um. The proximal end of the hook, which is either a straight shaft known as the hook shank or ring, which is I. Um, barb, I barb, the... barb. It's called barb. 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 That makes sense. Okay, so just can be Kabul and things. All right, sorry. Um, Kabul Brook. Kabul Sandy. No, Brook first. Or Sandy. Uh, Kabul Brook. Any? Yeah, with any. The stream dries up, and so does your throat when you notice the stunning blonde walking toward you. Gosh, what a great magician. Ooh, baby. Then, me, do you want to do the sexy voice? No, you can do the sexy voice, Nick. You're so sexy. Thanks. Neat spell, huh? What's your sign? Do you like sushi? Oh, gosh. There I go, saying every little thing that comes to my mind. No wonder they call me Babbling Brook. <laughs> she splashes a wet kiss across her mouth before blowing away. Oh my. All right. So, um, all right. So we did Brooke. Okay. Uh, Bridget. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Bridge it. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, G I T. Uh, the wooden structure collapses, and from the wreckage leaps the pronoun, no longer an it, but instead a very definite she, a saucy young brunette with a turned-up nose and a beret set at a rakish angle. Ooh la la, she says, so powerful is magic, and yet so handsome. That was wonderful. She sends, uh, spends a few moments, Nick, proving just how handsome she thinks you are. A Jew, she cries wistfully over her shoulder. Oh my. Um, all right, so Adam. I love this. I love these puzzles. I can't tell you enough. Brigitte is a French name? We. Oui. Brigitte. There's no Adam. Um, okay, how about Barb? There's a Barb. The fish hook expands to become a lovely buxom woman. My Her God. only flaw being an unusually pointed nose. Well, it's not necessarily a flaw. Anyway, you must be that cute young wizard who's saving everyone. And single, too. You'd make quite a catch, eh? She hooks an arm around your neck and pulls your mouth. I For a hot second, I thought she was going to say she hooks your mouth. And I'm like, that's alarming. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, <laughs> Don't hook my mouth, please. She hooks an arm around your neck and pulls your mouth against hers. At the conclusion of the kiss, she withdraws, leaving only the sound of organ music playing a recessional. Oh my. All right, um, so look now. Did we do Sandy? Sandy said it didn't work. Why is it all caps? Caps lock, baby. How about Sandra? No, okay. Um, all right, so just look. The forest, which can be entered to the north or northwest, ends here at a wide clearing. At one end of the clearing is a beachy spot of granular soil where the dried up stream bed can be crossed. At the other end of the clearing is another spot where the dried up stream bed can be crossed. The spot is surrounded by steep rock walls. Rock? No. No. Apparently, someone has been fishing here. Why is that still here? Uh, because the pole. Yeah. Uh, is the fishing pole. pole. Um, the pole is absolutely something. Um, fishing pole. Fisherman. Fisher. It's Fisher. F I S C H E R. 
a thing? F I S C H E R. Yeah. No. Okay. Anal fissures? No, it's not. Have a good night, Earl. Perhaps a ribbon with Gus oh, on it and a guy wrong. getting a haircut from a bad barber. What now? A ribbon with Gus on it and a guy getting a haircut from a good barber. What? Um, okay. Uh, so. What, uh, what, what, what object, John? What object? What do you mean? I don't know. That's what Dreamship said. If, oh, so, if you had to be kabooled, what object would you be? Ah, I see. Um, I mean, I'd be a toilet. Boom. He always wants to be a toilet. That's what it would be. I'd be a Sanford. Sanford says Minty. Sanford? It's a fjord? No, Ford. Ford, do you? Like that? Yeah, try it. A perfectly tanned Donis strides toward you, flips his shades back onto his forehead, and gives you a high five. Like, way to go, dude. Let, no, like, oh, I can't do that. Anyway, he squints, he squints at the sun. Gotta go get some rays, man. See ya. You can't do any accents or any weird, you know. Yeah. You can't. I, I want to hear that. I want to hear your surfer dude. Give me a surfer dude right now, Nick. You gotta give me a surfer dude. Hey, brah. Keep it going. How's it hanging? I like it. Keep it going. Uh, oh, totally tubular, dude. That was a bodacious wave that we were going down. Yeah, man. Dreamship, uh, Sanford and Son. That's why. Um. All right. So look now. See which one. That that was just was it both. Um. There's a forest. Is the forest like? Is everything no. in the description a thing? No, because that's just leading into the forest. That's just that's fine. That's okay. That's gonna take us into into the in the forest. Um. You think Rod? Yeah, Rod is a good one. Rod's a good one. Yeah, Vital Minty is right. Rod. The pole takes on the form of an extraordinarily thin fellow. Yeah, we're going to try to figure it out before it's... Yeah, sorry. Dreamship, you're correct. Uh, we want to try to figure this out all on our own here real quick before this, because we're liking these puzzles. We're liking these ones. Um, what does he say? You're tackling a real tough problem, buddy. We'll be waiting with bated breath to see if you can pull it off. Wish I could stay and watch just for the hell of it. But... I got a splitting haddock. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, no worries, Zynel. Oh, yeah, no, no, you're okay. Yeah, no big deal. Um, all right, so look one more time. Mook. I am your father. Um, Dried up stream bed can be crossed. Yeah. Is that a thing? Well, no, that's the end of Brook, because Brook, we, we cleared the stream bed. Um, this is surrounded by steep rocks. And Hill. we thought a dam. Adam. We tried that. Dam. Dam. Uh, not damn, of course. But yeah. Um. Let's let's move on. We're moving on northwest. So we got some stuff here. Um, lying in the field is a leg joint, which seems to have sustained more damage from. Fire. The fire. All right. So, uh, Ernie. Me. Ernie. Ernie. Ernie? Try Ernie. it. Ernie. Try, try Ernie. Yeah. Oh, Bernie. It's a burned knee. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. The knee heals and then sprouts a body, a body belonging to an angular fellow. He offers you a knobby hand and then shambles away with an odd, doubly jointed gait. Oh, wait. Yeah. Burnt knee. Yeah. Um, all right. So, let's look. A flying insect is buzzing around the powdery embers left behind the fire. Oddly. Oh, it has also left part of the hay field blackened in city. Um, I think maybe something, but we'll see. Um, it's a bee B. searching for honey. Oh, B-E-A for bee.
With stinging speed, the bee becomes a woman, falling from the air into the pile of ashes. Thanks, she says. Nice of you. Must be going. I'm very buzzy. In a wink, she's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. So look. So uh, the fire has left part of the hayfield black in the city. Black um. I don't know if we need that one. Yet. Why did it say twice? I don't know either. Um. I think. Well. Uh. Like, but so I, I think that might just be an actual description. Oh, you were thinking because, ash like, the bag no. is dry. Yeah. So I think that's done. Yes, and I think that's done too. So uh, go southeast. We haven't. Uh, wait, no, no, we've gone southeast. Here, we've uh, done everything. Yeah. Unless sign or something. Go east. That's back to the west of house. And then go east. Oh, open door. Now east. Living room. This parlor has doorways to the east and west. In addition, a rickety chair leads downward. Stair. Hold on. A pedestal next to the stair bears a carved inscription. There must have been one heck of a poker game going on here. When everyone got enchanted, the pot is tremendous. There is a piece of paper taped to the wall. It appears to be a page that has been torn out of a magazine. You see an accounting statement, a man's silk neck ornament, an indivisible particle. That's Adam. Sorry. Uh, oh, Steph Adam. Moved. Okay. All right. And a safe here. So, yeah, get rid of Adam. Yeah. Oh, Nick, you know the I'm... rules. You you defined the rules. You almost don't notice the young lad with the reel and rod due to what? I'm going fishing. Yeah, Nick, come on. He explodes out of the room. Okay. I'll read the inscription, of course. We gotta read the inscription inscription. Well, there's Ty. One second. So we have Ty. T-Y. Okay. A man's silk neck. Oh, garment. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty. Yeah. Um, an accounting statement is ledger. Um, a stuffed moose and a safe. Um, um, okay, so a stuffed moose, moose is... Um, what are the people that stuff animals? Taxidermists. Okay, that's not that's not good. Um, safe. Another word for a safe. Well, let's read this inscription. I want to read the inscription. The inscription reads: "Here rests the antenna of Puttsburg, one of the great attachments." Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah. but it's it's uh, it was it was empty, wasn't it? Did it say it was empty? Yeah, the pedestal just has a next to the stair bridge a carved inscription. Do we think oh. that the pedestal then isn't a thing? I it might be. I think that no, once we get everybody, we'll get the thing. Um, so there must be a heck of a poker game going on when everyone got enchanted. The pot is tremendous. So what do you call a a pot? Is it's um so. What do you call a large hey, pot, fried rice uh, poker game? How's it going, fried rice? Um, so let's see. What do you call that? Think about the other things while I look this up. I'm looking at okay, poker I'm terms. Gonna come the tie. There's a lot. Is that where we get rid of tie? Yes, tie's gone. Read that for me. A neck appears within the tie, and then a man appears around the neck. The man makes choking sounds, then loosens the tie. God, I hate these things. Where'd it come from? Where did I come from, for that matter? And that's my lifetime batting average. Still pondering these and other questions, Ty steals away. Um, look. Oh, jackpot. It's Jack. Jack. 
I think the pot's name is Harry. No, cried Race. That's not how this works. Not Jack. Um, it's not Jack? Um, let's see. Let's let's just keep looking at these terms. It's not Harry. Um there's a piece of paper taped to the wall. It appears to be a page that has been torn out of a magazine. So um that would be a clipping. That would be a clipping. Maybe collage. The word pot pops up a lot in this. Yeah, it does. Uh -huh. Um, let's see the stakes. Stakes. Uh no. High stakes, no. Anti? Anti. That's, I mean that's what you put into the pot. You put an ante into the pot. Like that that is what you have to Yeah. But I don't think that's a name. Let's see. There are so many, so many terms in poker. Um, a jackpot, which is a variant of five card draw, and each player in a blind zone. A large pool of money collected by the house and awarded for some rare occurrence, typically a bad beat. Jackpot is what it that's got to be jackpot, maybe with an E at the end. Maybe, um, are you open the and discover a dollar coin, a cent, some gems, and a legal document? Oh, okay. A dollar coin, that is. A dollar coin. Um, a cent would be. Lincoln. Copper. Uh, I I think Lincoln. Try Lincoln. Uh, so then is the dollar coin Jack? Why? Who's on the dollar coin? Kennedy? No. Um, Abraham. I don't know. Uh, no, he's on the half dollar. Uh, name for a dollar coin. A Susan B. Anthony. Anthony? Okay. No. Some, okay. Yeah, Sacagawea is one of the ones that's on the dollar. Uh, Jack Kennedy is on the half dollar. Yeah, it won't be any of them, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Jewel is a name? Jewel! That's a good one. Jewel. Jewel is for sure. Yeah, the gems? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, J-E-W-E-L-L? -L. Uh, no, just one L. I think Jewel is still the same. It's just one. No? Jewels. Jewels. Hold on. Jewels. Like J-U-L-E-S. An obese but natty man is standing suddenly in front of you. His teeth glint with gold fillings, and on his every finger you are enormous bejeweled rings. Good luck. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Good, Good job, job lad. lad. I'll have my accountant write you out of a check for an appropriate amount. In the meantime, where's that chauffeur of mine? Yeah, my grandmother's middle name was J-E-W-E-L-L, -L, which is what led me straight there. Jewel. Why do I know that? I don't know right. either. Um, all right, so look again. A legal document. So a legal document oh, is will, a contract. Will, 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 will. One L. Sorry, that's my bad. And two L's for will. One L for Kabul. One, two L's for Will. William? Oh, which contains one or more other lost souls, since that would result... And the loss of the contained solar souls. Thank you. Okay. Um, it has one or more other lost souls in it. Oh. Look at. Look at the will. Document. Look at document. Yeah. My final testament to my beloved son. I leave my ship steering wheel. Oh my god. Okay. Oh so, my god. So that's helm. So, Hel helm. No. Yeah, um. No. Fifth letter of the alphabet. Hold on. A, B, C, D, E. E. Oh! Hold on. So this is all... My beloved nephew. I leave... So 
is a everyone is a family name followed by a thing. So Sun Wheel, Sun Turn, Nephew. It's not e. Nephew E. Um I'll leave my climbing seed pod bean and my sweet potato yam. Clean seed pod. Um, okay. To my beloved gardener, I leave my sweet potato. So, Wilhelm, Wilhelm E. Wilhelm? Yeah, Wilhelm E. But what for? It's it's a big thing, like, and my I leave my two thousand pound weight ton is that one Yamton? Okay. Are they all will something? I'm guessing so. Willy. Willy. Yeah. Will uh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wilma. They're all will something. Wilma. What was Wilma for? Uh, mom. Will. Will Ma. Ma. I see. And then look at the Will again. Oh, it's like... Okay. My beloved grandson, cleaning seed pod. Will P. Mm -mm. Uh, William is Will. Uh, the sweet potato. William. 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 Uh. I and then Wilton. Oh. Wilton. Wilton. I leave my small I round green vegetable. vegetable. And to my stuffed moose, I leave my small round green vegetable. Uh, small round green vegetable. Um, I mean, try will be. Uh, will bean? Will bean? No, not will bean. Uh, like plugging seed pod. What, uh, what are those things called that, like, they, oh, Christ, they, they, like, grab onto you as you're, like, walking past? Um, What are they called? Burrs. Wilbur. Wilbur. Yep. Perfect. So, uh, Wilbur, we have Wilbur. William. William. Wilton. Wilton. And then small round green vegetable. Uh, okay. Small round green Topic vegetable. Um, um, hold on. Would those be? Uh, hold on. Would those be? Um, what? Not not asparagus. They're uh, they're usually doused in butter. Brussels sprout. Will sprout. No. No. Okay, it's not those. It's not a tomatilla. Um, I'm looking at green vegetables here. Will. Um, green vegetables. Sabrina, she's vegetarian. I know, right? Give me green vegetables. They're small and round. Will okra. <laughs> uh, well, let's 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 go with those ones first, though. The other ones. Um, so do Wilbur. William. A man leaps from the pages of the legal document. I'll oh, dearly miss Grandpappy, and I will cherish his burr. So, William. A man leaps from the pages of the legal document. I'll oh, dearly miss the boss, and I will cherish his yummy yum. Yep. And then, um... Wilson. A man leaps from the pages of the legal document. I'll dearly miss old creaky bones, and I'll cherish his tongue. Try will P. Like, W-I-L-P-Y? Why? Like that? No, why? P-Y. No, just why. I'm confused. W-I-L-P-Y. Will P. I'm pretty sure that's uh, A small round green vegetable is what we're... We're looking at small uh, round green vegetable. Will one second. 
I'm phoning a friend. I'll take it. Serena. A small round tree vegetable. Not a tea. It has to make a name when it starts with this. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me see some other things here while he figures that out. Um. Okay. Yeah, we already got Wilbur. We got Wilbur. Okay, you said all the things you said. What, John? Oh, I'm just talking to to um that uh start with Will. So bring us all to the truck. Okay, so let's see. What? Around um, that Willy Willem. Like. Wiley, Will, Willie. What? Wilhelmina. Will, Will Grape? Will Grape? I don't think it's Will Grape. Wilfredo? Um. Willard. Wilbur, Will, uh, Will Murr. There's like Wilder. zucchini, but they're not round. Wilbert, William, Willian, Willame, Wilhelmina, Wilkes, um, that wouldn't be anything. Wilden. To humor. Wilson, Willoughby, um, Wilson, Wilcox. Wolford. Oh, Robbie? It's a humor. The Potes. Wilkerson. Green Peas. Huh. Will Green Pea. Will Green Pea. <laughs> Will Green Pea. That sounds like a rapper name. Little Green Pea? Yeah. Will Green Pea. It's like him and Little Romeo. What's up with him? How's he doing? Who, Little Romeo? Little Romeo. <laughs> Little Romeo. Who? Are you unfamiliar with Little Romeo? I am unfamiliar with Little Romeo. He, he was a rapper in like the early 2000s. Really? Yeah, really. Huh. We've done Wilbur as well. Yeah, let's look at the document again. Look at the document real quick. Look at the document. Finally, to my stuffed moose, the first part seems to not matter. Yeah. Small, round, green vegetable. Small, round, green vegetable. Will be? Will sprout. Did we, will sprout? Will sprout? Will, will, we did, will, did we do will be? W-I-L-B-Y? Will no. bean? Will no. be? No, this is definitely the last one because you can't just do will. Okay, I'm sorry. I was crying at funerals and soul restoration. Still weeping. Still weeping. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it? Why is it? Just will. Okay. I, the last one apparently wasn't one. Oh, that makes sense. Um. All right. So, uh, look in the safe again. Because otherwise it wouldn't have worked, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's a dollar coin and a cent. Okay. That's um change. 101. Change. 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 Talk to change. No. Money bags. Yes, money bags. Um Oh, it windy. So then, um, you know what? You want? Know you want know Nick? Type. Type. Uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, the whole thing. Abraham Lincoln. Okay. No. How about Kabul? A penny. Copper. Oh, shit. Penny! 
appears a pert little woman with coppery hair. A lost soul saved his lost owner, and she says, <clears throat> a sweet little peck John. on the cheek. Yeah. John. Yeah. Me going, a cent is a penny, and then, oh shit. <laughs> So what's what's another name for a half dollar? Uh, no dollar. It's a dollar coin. Oh, it's a <clears> dollar <throat> coin. Um, uh, Wikipedia says a Morgan. Nope. No. Okay. Um, Shilling. Let's see. Um, Popularity, mint marks, history. We're overthinking it, apparently. It's a dollar coin. Not, Mint? There is, we don't have dollar coins. We do. When is the last time you've seen or had anyone reference a dollar coin? I mean, they do exist. I, I have some. Okay, and what are they called? There's like the silver dollar that's uh that's got like the the eagle on the moon and uh, Sojourner Truth on the front. There's like the gold dollars with Sacagawea. I don't think those existed back then. Yeah. Um, they were issued in 2000. What's the paper dollar called? A well, dollar. But it's it's a dollar coin though, specifically a dollar coin. The George. What is money called? Because I don't I don't deal with money. What is a paper dollar called? It's just it's called a dollar. a dollar. Hello, Dolly. Dolly, no. Um, hey, Sakura. Uh, it's like Susan B. Anthony, an Ike dollar. It's also the name of. It's called a dollar no, coin or called a Morgan dollar. Like, that's... A greenback? That's my other name for a dollar. How's it going, Suki? How's it going, Sakura? Cash? I, I'm, we're going to feel real dumb. A Benjamin? That's a hundred. That's a hundred. That's a hundo. A Washington? A male animal. That doesn't help. Let's look at look at the other things. Let's look at some other things. We're gonna come back to that. Our brain is farting. We're, we're brains get we're overthinking it. Let's move on. Okay. Um all right. A rickety stair leads downward. So do we think we can go down or that the rickety stair is a person? I think that we can go downward because there's a down. Okay. We'll figure it out. A pedestal next to the stair bears a carved inscription. Yeah, Sakura we, we, says, try Susan. We can try Susan. Nope. It is not Susan. Um, all right. Um, accounting statement. Susan be Look at the accounting statement. The accounting statement. The net value of your business on January 1st of the last year was $1 million. And on January 1st of this year, the net value of your business was $999,999.95. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Five yes. cents. Right. JD cent? No. Net loss. Uh, Kabul, uh, 50 cent. Oh, maybe Nick as a nickel. Oh, Nicholas. yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas. Yep, Nicholas. Yeah, okay, it's a Nicholas. You know, when I was a child, people would make fun of me because I was poor by saying I was Nicholas. Really? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because I was penniless, John. Yeah, I know. But like my name. How would kids be that creative? They are. I don't believe it. They are. A mousy man with a breast pocket full of pencils appears where the counting statement had been. He looks around with squinty eyes. 
reuse these paper clips by lower grade pencils. No personal use of the photocopier. All right. Um, look at look at the magazine art. Uh, uh, look at look at page or paper. Look at paper. Balmora Weight Loss Clinics. I lost 385 pounds in 45 minutes while stuffing myself with cake and pizza, says Mrs. Zelda, beached whale of Danderville. Okay. Blubba? Huh? Blubba? We have the Blubba spell, which summons a... What? No. Um, weight loss. Diet. Forty-five minutes, uh, but like losing weight fast. Um, but it's taped to the wall. Let's go down. Let's just go down. Let's go down. Let's take a minute. We gotta. We gotta let this one simmer. We gotta take make it let it simmer. Okay, let's go down. What's the Rocky and Wouldn't be Bullwinkle. That doesn't make sense. No. Look at the moose. Yeah, I've seen myself moose in well. If it's Rocky, I would be upset because it doesn't make any sense. No. No. Down. Go down. We're going down. That's what we're doing. Into the cellar. Here we go. This is what I like. With the deller and the weller and the beller in the cellar. An outside is beheld by these those who venture into the basement of the White House. A convention of E's. Yes, letter E's from all over the world have gathered here for the event. Beyond the milling E's... You can make out opening leading openings leading east and south. One of the letters larger than the rest forms a large curve across the room, like some improbable stone rainbow. Archie, that's Archie. Obviously. I'm gonna write that down one second. Um also there are milling about, so that's a milli. Milli is another name. M-I-L-L-I-E. Um, all right, continue. One of the letters of the is made from a tough, unyielding stump. Th since um, Steely, Iron. like Steely Dan. One of the letters is dressed like a real tramp, slutty. You've never been particularly into alphabet sex, alphabetic sex, but male letters probably find her irresistible. You notice her winking at you. Um, it's not slutty. I hope. Oh, uh, uh, lady. I don't know. One of the letters covered with a thin layer of powdery debris. Um, Pokey. One of the letters wow. is chattering on the phone. And Thelma told me that... Oh, uh... Chatty? Uh, Chatty? And, uh, and Chatty. Thelma... Chatty Cathy. Chatty Cathy, you think so? Let's see. Yeah. Let's try uh, Umberto are breaking up. Have you heard that the iron rods are enlarging their family room? Oh, I gotta go. I told Eunice I'd give her a call. One of the letters is buried in the sports section, mumbling nice point spread. Hmm. Good odds on Lucky Warlock in the third race. Wonder if I can get a game of craps going around here. Um. Betty. 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 One of the letters sports a border of fine white tatting. Lacey. Like, Lacey. Lacey. One of the mummy letters is wandering around. Oh, sorry. We skipped them. Um, one of the letters sports approaches a border you. Letters. Approaches you. Want to buy the Bumflin Bridge real cheap? Can I interest you in some swampland in Flumata? Um, Shady. Uh, we'll, we'll see. One of the letters is made of a shiny yellow metal, Goldie. Goldie. Wandering around, mumbling, where am I? Who am I? Who hit me? 
Um, forgetfully. Well, let, let's get these zones. So, start Goldie. So, Kabul Goldie. Kabul Mil Millie. Oh, I see. Connie. I see. Um, Archie. Kathy. Kathy? Mm hmm. With a C or a K. Got to do a space there at the end, though. Got a space there. Uh, I would say C A T H Y. Like that? Yep. Comma. Betty. Lacey. L A C E Y. And Connie. C O N N I E. I brought in Connie. Did you? Okay. Try that. Oh. Okay. So just do Kabul Goldie. Do them one at a time. The gleaming letter becomes an almost unbearably cute blonde woman wearing one of the miniest miniskirts you've ever seen. With an irresistible giggle, she leaps into your arms, showers you with kisses, including one last long kiss goodbye. All right, Goldie's done. Um, do uh, Archie. Curved stone letters become a man whose only similarity is his large curved belly. It's about time, meathead. Think it's fun being a lost soul? Just wait till I get my hands on the dingbats responsible. All right, um, now let's try Steely. S-T-E-E-L-I-E. -E -E. No. Okay, not Steely, Dan. Uh, Kathy. No. Oh, with a K. Try with a K. No, okay. Um, Betty. The wagering letter wakes out of being and is replaced by a vivacious redhead with dancing brown eyes. Coming up behind you, she slips an arm around your chest and starts licking your ear, whispering, I'll bet you're a shark in bed, hustler. Oh, my. Okay. We are she naughty mode right now. I know. Uh, oops, got a conference call in three minutes. Don't wait up. Okay. Uh, Lacey. EY. The fringed letter dissolves into the form of an elderly, dignified matron. She curtsies to you and freaks out of the way. All right. Um, Connie. C-O-N-N-I-E. Amongst the milling ease, you spot a woman of statuesque beauty. Your eyes lock, and she seems to float across the room and into your arms. Hello, stranger. I love your sexy she voice. I know. Uh, in a sultry voice. Where have you been hiding? She begins nibbling at your face, then stops suddenly and cries, What? No wallet? She withdraws her hand from the pocket of your cloak, whirls and strides arrogant, uh, arrogantly away. Okay. Now, uh, oh, level four. Um, all right. Uh, look. One of the letters is made from a tough, unyielding substance. Okay. Okay. Uh Unyielding substance. Um, Wally. What? A wall. It's an unyielding substance. I don't know. Wally. Um, the tramp. You've never been particularly into alphabet sex. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, the powdery. Oh, we didn't do Kathy. Huh? We didn't try Kathy. We did. It said it wasn't a thing. Sorry. Um. Party. Yep. Oh. You can read it. The tough-looking letter changes into one equally tough-looking man. He wears a sleeveless T-shirt and has several tattoos on each arm. He takes your hand and proceeds to crush the life out of it, laughing as you sink to the floor in pain. Look at this! He yells, releasing your hand and pounding his stomach like a rock. Go ahead. Give me your best shot. You decline and hearty departs, probably in search of a six pack. Okay. All right. So. I so I think this whole this, I don't think Mill and E is anything. No, you're right. You're right. Um, One of the letters is dressed like a real tramp. You've never been particularly into alphabet sex. 
but you find her irresistible. You notice her flirty? No. Have they all been names? Like, They've all been names. names. They're all people's names because they're people. Oh, um, Gad is good. Yeah. Okay. Well, this remains unchanged. And then Beatrice saw them at the drive-in. Have you seen the dresses she wears? Oops. Time for my soaps. Bye, Edna. All right. Um. Look again. Like a real tramp. You've never been particularly into elephant sex, but probably been irresistible. Um. Not sultry. That's not the thing. Um. Not sexy. One of the letters is covered with a thin layer of powdery debris. Who am I? Who hit me? For oh, Jesus. So he has amnesia. Yeah. For he... dementia. Yeah. Yeah. Um. He is, is dizzy. Dizzy, try dizzy. Used to be a name. Used to be a name. Excuse me. I don't know why suddenly I'm like that. Yeah. No. Okay. <clears throat> uh, try dusty for the powdery debris. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, who do we have left? Uh, uh, the sexy E. Like a real tramp. Lady? I, I tried lady before. I thought we tried lady. So I said lady before. No. Like um, lady in the tramp? Yeah. Um. I'm going to leave you to this. I got to blow my nose. Blow your nose. Um, okay. Never been into all that sex, but male just find her irresistible. Not flirty, that's not a name. Um Body is not let's see. Where am I? Who am I? Hi, Bernie. What's up? Hottie? No, Hottie? Hottie's not a name. Um, Lucy. Oh. Yeah. The trampy letter melts into a trampy... Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to read it to oh, you. I'm going to read it because you can't do your sexy voice, Nick. I'm I'm beetling your sexy voice. I'm going to get a better sexy voice than you. Okay, fine. I love, I love you, Nick. Sorry. The trampy letter melts into a trampy woman with red tights, a snug leopard print halter, a studded leather jacket, and very spiky heels. She begins rubbing in against you in a not unpleasant way. Come on, you big hunk. What are you standing around for? I like my men. Horizontal. She begins loosening your cloak. Of course, you'll have to wait in line behind Max and Sam and George and Sid and Jeff and Ralph. And not having all that much time, you reluctantly decline. Lucy gives your buns a final squeeze and wiggles up the stairs. Um. All right, this other guy. This guy who's confused. Um. Yeah. Not dizzy, not ditzy, no, it's, uh, <sighs> where am I, who am I, who am I, Daisy, Daisy, huh? you're in a daze, Daisy, <laughs> That fucking worked. Yeah. You want to read it? 
The day's E blossoms into an adorable little girl. She has flowers with white petals and yellow centers tucked into her braided hair. Uh, looking up at you with eyes so wide they practically span her entire face, she gives your leg an affectionate hug and then climbs out of the cellar. An encouragement niff appears before you. You're going, you're going great, Ernie. Halfway there. Uh, keep up the good work. After giving you a playful kick in the shoulder, the nymph disappears. All right, so go east. The British Isles. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, this room is arranged into neat rows of English memorabilia. There are egresses to the west and south. A nobleman wearing a powdered wig prances effeminately above about a nearby aisle. In one of the aisles are two toilet bowls sitting rim to rim like a pair of Siamese twins. That's fun. Johnny. Oh, one. Uh, right. Johnny. Two toilet bowls. Or two bowls are Johnny's? No, I don't know. Um, one toilet is closed with a giant blob of wax as though to prevent it from being opened without breaking the wax. You see a police officer and a truck here. Bobby is the officer. This is British slang, Nick. Yeah. yeah. Lori is one. Bobby and Lori. Uh, so, Kabul, Bobby. The policeman's uniform fades and his club drops to the ground as he moves for the first time. Thanks for the help. Uh, I'm not doing that. Thanks for the uh, help, Mike. Now let's move along. We don't want to have any trouble, do we? All right, Lori. L-A-U-R-I-E. No, L-A-U-R-I-E. Unk, look, sorry, Bob, but I got a bad cold, and I got to be in Liverpool by sundown, so adios. Lou. Or toilet. Louie, yeah. Why Louie? Louie. I don't know. I'm still stuck in Louie. Lou world. Um, look. Lou. Louis? Maybe? I don't know. Um. British Isles. So, I. Uh, what's, um. Anti. Uh, British, uh, lawyer is called. Uh, their Solicitor. Barrister. Solicitor. Barry, maybe. Oh, Bob, uh, the club is a, um, let's see. No, not Barry. Um. Let's see. Hold on. Um, what's a policeman's uh, club in British? Uh, baton? No. Um, uh, Billy is for the Billy Club. Uh, right? Billy Club. Billy Club. Yeah, Billy. I.E.? Like Billy Eilish or why? Um, uh, why? Just why? <laughs> oh, oh, am I, I am a stiff? Sorry. Complains the tall, thin man standing where the Billy Club was last seen. And thanks, Governor. He walks off. Jolly good show. Yeah. Um. So let's see. One to the giant. Blob of feminine wigs. Wearing a powdered wig, prances effeminately about a nearby aisle. That has got to be a famous, Ooh. a famous British person at the time. Right. The Corys. Oh, what? He's uh. Famous Scottish singer. I mean, I guess that's a duo. Famous Scottish singer. Um, I mean, not going to give us any that aren't. It's going to be modern. 
a duo? Well, the Corys are a duo. You want to uh, do that one? Just do Cory. Yeah. I think they're IE. We're stuck in the E land still, you know? Yeah. Nope. Finish. Seal, right, is the wax. Seal is a wax. Oh, maybe it is just Seal, like the, the singer Seal. Was he around during this time? I guess he would have been. No. No. Uh, Two degrees sitting rim to rim like Siamese twins. Rim to rim. John's. Well, they are Lou's. Lewis. Louis. Lewis. Lewis Wax. Wax Lewis. Uh, Lewis Seal. Lucille. Lulu. Lulu. But also try Lucille. L U C I L L E. The two uh, Lou's become one woman. In fact, one Lulu of a woman. She's wearing a tight sweater and a leather miniskirt, and her blonde hair is no less attractive for being unnatural. She slings up to you, insinuating her bare thigh uh, between her legs. Well, that's just about the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, Ducky. So her tongue slips into your mouth and her hand slips into your cloak. Your mind slips into neutral until... Lulu slips out saying, let me slip into something more comfortable. How about Lucille? L-U-C-I-L-L-E. The blob of wax vanishes. Ordinary woman appears. Thanks for saving me. Unfortunately, I have the best, most boring Kabul text in the entire game. Sorry. She leaves. All right, look. We still have the barrister guy. Um, yeah. A nobleman wearing a powdered wig prances a family above nearby aisle. Uh, He's a dainty British judge. Oh, slang. Francis effeminately. It, that's got to be a famous person, right? Because, like, it just says beak. Well, it's the effeminate, like, I think the effeminate part is doing a lot of work there. Yeah. I think it's a historical person, right? Maybe. Gaylord. 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 Oh, that's. I hope that's not the answer. It's it. It's Gaylord. He's a gay lord. But that's right. a name. That's a name, Nick. I know it's a name, but come on. You could be effeminate and not gay. I hope nobody said that in there earlier. Yeah, he's happy, Nick. Come on. Just super happy. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's t Oh, it's just so nice to have my little soul back again. Aren't you precious and handsome, too? Oh, but you're straight, of course. All the good men are. He skips off. John. What, Nick? Look. Progressive. Um, okay, I don't think that, I think that's it then. So, um, no, Southwest. Sound studio. Oh, God. We can do this. This is a totally featureless room with doorways leading north and northeast. So, apparently, it's not featureless. Yeah. Um, as two doorways. Um, a cacophony of sounds fills the air. A device for recording this symphony of silly sounds is suspended by a wire in the set. So, a microphone. Mike. Mike, Mike yeah. Hold on, we got. I'm gonna write it down, Mike. All right. Across the room is a giant vacuum tube of the sort that always produces a low vibrating tone, uh, but this tube is strangely silent. Vacuum tube that makes. Um, a low vibrating bass. tone would be a bass, but silent bass. No. Um. Silent bass. No bass. Uh. Okay. Bass song. It wouldn't be bassoon. Um, uh, hold on. Let's just move on to the next one. Mike, okay. Okay, Mike. We don't know the next one. 
a group of voices have joined together in a joyous Christmas carol. song. That'd be a choir or a carol. Carol. A raucous, unruly sound, like a cross between a giant radio and a trunk horn. A truck horn threatens to make your ears bleed. A raucous Rory. Maybe. A warm, know. wet breeze, like a gentle exhaling. Uh, carries a long moan of weariness and relief. Sigh. Yeah, see why. See why, yeah. The soft neighing of a horse can be heard during the quieter moments. Bray. Bray. Bray? Is that a name? Bree? Oh, we'll see. We'll we'll try Bray. Um, let's just see. A um, gentle song without accompaniment. Uh, floats through the air. Solo. Solo. Um, let's see. Melody. Black Christmas says Melody. Melody. And Minty says Winnie. That would be good. Winnie. That's, that's right. Yes. Winnie. Winnie for the horse. Gwendolyn. Um, Let's see. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Okay, so Mike. Instead okay. of a recording device, a plump, greasy man now hangs from the wire. Oops. That's unfortunate. Oh. He's dead. Uh, he leaps clumsily to the ground and pumps your hand. Buffo session. Yeah. Love it. Let's do lunch. Got to run. I'm doing a meeting with some of the boys from corporate he waddles away so carol uh, cool. carol c a r o l e no no e no wait just l carol is what she is carol is who she is uh, the voices merge into one and take the form of a curvaceous woman dressed in the tight fitting green and red sweater she produces a sprig of mistletoe toe holds it over you and then presses her full moist lips against yours just as you begin getting really interested, she pulls apart and prances away, leaving you holding a cheery note. Okay, um, Sai. Let's do Sai. Sai. Yep. Uh, you nailed it. Nice. It's a good Nick. The sigh fades away as you notice for the first time a gaunt man with a deeply lined face and tired eyes. Oh, well, he whispers. I just, I was just getting used to being a sound. I suppose I better be moving along now. He shuffles rarely away. A ghoul Winnie? Yeah, uh, or... I believe it's I, it, it's... I think it's I-N-N-I-E. Like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. I think the H is the actual sound. Yes. A proud and regal woman appears before you. She nuzzles your neck and thanks. Checks your pockets for sugar. Oh my. Then snorts and stamps her feet and trots away. She's a horse girl. Hey, that's some people's thing, man. Um, all right, so uh, then uh, Melody. The tune continues, but now it comes not from thin air, but from the very lovely mouth of an equally lovely woman. Singing sweet nothings in your ear, she hugs you tenderly and then is borne away on the wings of a song. So try Rory, which would be R-O-A-R-Y, would be the, the R -O -A -R -Y. name. R-O-A-R-Y. That? Yeah. No. All right, look. Is that how Rory is spelled? I think so. Maybe. Try that. Nope. Okay, just look. Um, okay. Vacuum tube. Across the room is a giant vacuum tube. What are, do we not? Um, rock is under the, the sound. Like a cross between a giant radio and a truck horn. Blair. Blair. Bray indeed is a donkey sound. Uh, the noise dies down, but then the little girl that appeared in its place begins shouting. Uh, you start longing for the Blair. Mommy, she shrieks. I want my mommy. Blair gives you a sharp kick in the shins and runs away, screaming at just under ultrasonic levels. Uh, look. So we have one more. So it's yeah. a vacuum of the sort that always produces a low vibrating note. So that's a hum. 
a hum. Yeah. Hmm. A silent hum. One that is free of hums. That's a Humphrey. Oh my god, if it's Humphrey. Bogart. Fuck. At least it's this pent up humming. In a giant explosion of glass and metal, Humphrey strides forth with a wreckage, claps you on the back, and skips away while whistling, not humming, a merry tune. Look real quick for me. All right, that's so it. then that's it. Okay, a totally features room with the doorway leads north. A cacophony of sounds to the air. Um, all right, so uh, um, north. We did all this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So up. So we did that whole bottom floor. We still have the paper on the wall. Yeah. Um. And a dollar coin. Addy? Maybe? What? Like Addy? Ad, 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 Addy? I don't know. For the ad? It's a magazine. Uh... Sorry. Like that? Yeah. Okay. No. Um. Like the the... The chips in the center of the pot. What? Ad lie. I wouldn't have gotten that. Oh, a lying ad? Yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't have recognized that. Never would have recognized that one. Better mental taste, he cries. Brighter, tougher shine. Finally, an affordable luxury car. Gonna be the education president. Who would ever know ad lie? Like, that's not... That's not a name. I, like, I, I've like, never I, like, heard that ad name. Lie. Stevens, I think, is a person. That's Adelaide. Adelaide. Right? Adelaide is a name. Adelaide. Adelaide? Uh, well, there's Ad Adelaide Stevenson, who is the governor of Illinois at one point. Okay, so the chips in the center... It's an the, old name. ...is a pot. It is a purse it is a jackpot um oh kitty a kitty it better not be kitty what the hell is that the kitty is a pot no i don't believe it i don't it believe it. how would you know this uh well Vinyl said it, but Vinyl's right. Well, how, how totally would you cool. know that? Because even See, if you I, try to I, look that up, it's just Kitty Kuo, the po poker player. Adlai Stevenson was a vice president, yeah. And the governor of Illinois, I think. Often used to buy refreshments, cards, and so on. Kitty and card game terminology, additional cards dealt face down in some card games. Kitty, a colloquial term for prize money or other monies collected by a group. So, with the clatter of chips, the pot becomes a slinky woman in a tattered leopard skin bikini. She leaps on top of you, growling. That was wild. I've had a deuce of a time. But when the chips were down, it was a good bet that a stud like you wouldn't fold on me. It was in the cards. What do you say we uh, hit the deck? I'm really stacked and I've got great hands. No? Okay, no big deal. Wow. But give Auntie a kiss, at least. One kiss later, Kitty shuffles away. Okay, so look. Did we try Dolly? Just a dollar. For a dollar? A dolly? No one! We already did Dolly. That's true. Dolly was a name already. For the hand card outside. Slang for a dollar coin. Or for a dollar. Buck. Fuck. A buck? It's a buck. Alright. Do buck. I didn't see male deer. That one I came up with on my own. 
Um, so there. the stuffed moose. Just want to do bull. Bull. Maybe. No. Wait, didn't we already get rid of the magazine? Apparently not. I thought that was the ad lie. Uh, Bill would have been good too. But Bill would have been paper. I think that's why they said it was a coin. Yeah. Because then Bill would have worked. Look at the magazine. I thought we did too. Oh, uh, look at paper. Didn't we do this? I thought we did this. Do it again. Oh! Hmm. Read it. But more Remember what less clinic. Huh? Remember what it said before. Oh, what a ripoff. I see. Before it said that she lost 400 pounds and ate all the food she wanted to eat. So, add truth? No, 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 no. I'm saying that we have done this. Now it's a true ad. Ad lie is gone. Okay. And now it's just a, now it's just now a now true it's just ad. Okay. So, do we get everything? No, the moose. The moose head? Rack? Horny? Uh, and see a stuffed moose and a safe here. Can we Look move the stuffed moose? It says you've seen one stuffed moose, you've seen them all. I can't, is it like... George H. Megafauna? George H. Megafauna. I mean, there's Teddy it's just Roosevelt, a stuffed moose. the head of the... Uh... Bull moose, but that's not a pun. It's not a name. It's not well, Teddy or Theodore or because Teddy Teddy Roosevelt was the the bull moose candidate. But I I don't think that they're making like it, there it has to be a pun. Yeah. Um. Let's go. Let's. We're gonna come back to the stuff months. Um. Adam's family. There's a moose in there. What's the name of the moose? Pierre. What? Pierre is the name of the Adams Family Stuffed Moose. That's, again, a thing I would have never gotten. Never would have I... gotten that. Doesn't make a lick of sense. Why would we know that that's Pierre? Uh, you would have to know the reference, which would have been more topical back then. And who in their right mind in chat today would know? I saw a stuffed moose hanging on a wall. It's obviously Pierre. Vital knew that. Huh? Vital knew it. Don't believe it. Uh, uh Pierre, Pierre looking somewhat less moose like somewhat... and a quite ahead. bit less stuffed. Cry Sacre Bleu, I have Le Pe. Now I can return to the Riviera. He glances scornfully at you. I would give you a tip, little sorcerer, but I don't seem to have any loose vegetables in my pocket at the moment. Is that the payoff for him not having the Because he didn't he didn't get his because we got rid of the will, so he Let's never see. got his vegetables. Let's see. Hold on. I want to see. How many see. episodes is he in? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen total episodes. How many episodes are in the Adams family? How many have I seen? Zero. He is in. Wednesday. He is in one fifth 
of the episodes. One fifth of them. Vinyl is really into Adam's family moose. I, apparently. All right, look for me real quick. All right, so I don't think the safe is the thing we have to solve. Right, because we've already gotten the things out of the safe. A rickety we did stair the paper. leads downward. Um, I don't think we so bend down either. So go um, east. 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 Right? East is the kitchen. We haven't done the kitchen yet. Yeah. You have entered a cramped cookery. A doorway to the west stands next to the bottom of a flight of steep stairs. It appears as if some mad chef threw a temper tantrum while making bread. Um, Baker? Hold on. That's technically a name. A huge wad of uncooked bread batter has been splattered across the vertical surface of the room. So that would be dough. Uh, dewey? Doughy? Dewey? D-E-W-E-Y? Maybe? Hold on, let's see. What's the other ones? Handful of ground beef. That, ground that's beef. Chuck. That's Chuck. I've been waiting for Chuck to happen. Because I was thinking Chucky uh, earlier, and I was like, okay. Thick with meat stew. Oh, so you that's... see an alcoholic lime drink, yeah, a bottle too. of nutty wine, a tiny square of butter, and a hot dog here. Alcoholic so lime alcoholic drink? Alcoholic lime drink would be tequila? Not tequila, yeah. margarita. Marguerite. Marguerite? Try that. A bottle of nutty wine. Um, what is a nutty wine? Let's see. Let's look it up. Nutty wine. Nutty wine. You know, Cabernet, Cabernet, Moreau. Uh, Sherry. That's Sherry. Sherry. Mm -hmm. Sherry baby. Yeah, it's sherry baby, just Sherry. A tiny sherry. square of butter. That's a pat pad. Patty. And a hot dog. Or Pat. Frank. Just say Pat, not Patty. Pat. It's Pat. Fine, that's a name. And a Frank. hot dog's here. Um Frank. Frank, yeah, Frank. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sitting here like I've said it. All right, what I need to do. Uh Chuck. Frank. Oh Frank, you can go Frank. Sure. It's sort of bottom Frank, bottom. All, all stuff possible. No, I can't do that. Yeah. Cool Frank. A flash of smoke and the smell of burning charcoal. When the air clears, the sausage has been replaced by a long, thin man who bows politely and departs. Uh, Patty. Or Pat. Sorry, Pat. 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 Not Patty. I want to add an E now at the end because of the damn room. I need your sexy voice. When you catch sight of Pat with her golden hair, glowing healthy skin, and glistening lips, your insides turn to, well, butter. Hi, big boy. She touches a finger to your lips, then runs it slowly down your chest bone. Why don't you meet me later for a massage? I've got some kinks I need to work out. She walks deliciously away, then turns and whispers, Don't forget the oleo. Okay. Um, Sherry. Sherry, baby. Do you want me to do this one, too? I, okay. The bottle transforms into the even more curvaceous form of a buxom woman. He runs over to kiss you and then giggles. Was that too poor of me? I just can't control myself sometimes when I have a bit too much wine. And I see a really cute guy, especially a really cute guy who's an up-and-coming sorcerer. Oh, you do seem to be up-and-coming. You glance down, and when you look up again, Sherry is gone. Um, all right, Marguerite. Sorry, M A R G U E R I T E. No, hold on. What's Mar? Oh, let me see. Marguerite, let me see. Marguerite. Oh, it's M A R G A R I T E. Maybe try Margarita and see if it actually comes up as that. Or Rita, Rita. Duh, Rita. No? Okay, shit. All right, well, the other one is Stu. S-T-U? Yeah. I didn't get a bull right. Okay. With astounding suddenness, the pot of soup turns into a beefy man. 
Youch, he cries, jumping off the hot stove. After thanks and a hearty handshake, he retreats. If my wife finds out that I've been hanging out on the stove again, I'm dead meat. Oh, my God. Uh, Chuck. Uh, Oh, um, let's see. Go on, be shaped into a flat circle. Patty. Patty. I said Pat before, and it's Patty for this one. Pat and Patty. Top of the morning, and tell you, lad. Oh, it's a fine day for having your soul restored. He skips away with Lena Jig. You see a alcoholic lime drink. Um, alcoholic try, lime try, drink. uh, um, so, what else is lime heavy? What is uncooked red dough? Dough. No. This <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I mean, try Dewey. Oh, Dewey. is that right? Try that. There it is. Oh, Ricky. Rick. Ricky? Faint burping sound, the lime Ricky dissolves into a rotund fellow with a bow tie and a red nose. Thanks for the help, me, sir. <laughs> Never heard you know, of I, Ricky I can't before. Do drunk voice either. I can't do voices. Thanks for the help, mister. <laughs> Can I buy you something to drink? No time, you say? Oh, lost. He staggers, uh, he staggers, uh, that is, staggers away. Okay, so... Um, cool. He's done. So it's just the uncooked bre bread Through batter. A temper tantrum while making bread. Through a temper tantrum while making bread. Dough on a wall. Wall dough. Oh. Look. Look, Waldo. Okay. Walls are suddenly clean, unlike the nasty little fellow who you notice stomping on your toes. No, I don't want bread. Daddy said if I could have ice cream. Uh, said I could have ice cream. Wah! He stomps off, flinging bits of dough to and fro. To and fro. Um, all right. So now it, there's a... Wait, look. We did it. Um, up. We're not done yet. We're in the attic, baby. This drafty loft is being used as a menagerie of some type. Animals of every stripe abound. The only exit is the stair down to the kitchen. One of the animals has its hair festively tied in a silky ribbon. Bow. B-E-A-U. A duck is waddling back and forth across the menagerie. Its long flat beak waves back and forth as it surveys the room. Waddle. Uh... One second. Oh, it's well and back and forth. A baseball different. glove modified for canine use is lying here. Um, see a young rabbit. You see a young rabbit. A uh, young rabbit is a shit bunny. Yeah, bunny. Okay. A koala bear. Um, a male cat. Tom. Yes. Tom. Yeah. And a salamander. Newt. Newt. But a koala bear. A koala bear. Hold on. They're not marsupial. They are marsupial. They are, but that's not a name. Koala bear. I'm a baseball glove modified for canine use. So it's a glove for dogs. We don't um, get the dog ones. Mitt. Mitt. Um. But why? Why not just? Something mitt. Mitt something. Can I use dog? Um 
mint dog. Dog. I don't know, hold on. Um, I'll go to the words. Okay. All right. Uh, the ribbon, like a snake charmer's rope, slowly unties itself, undulates vertically to a length of six feet, and fleshes out into an athletically built man. He jogs over to you, exchanges high fives, says Bo knows Kabul spells, and then bounds down the stairs. Oh, Bo B O. Yeah. Um, all right. Try to do bunny. Uh, you do a double take at the well-endowed woman hopping Ooh. toward you from where you last noticed the rabbit. She wears a tight, silverized, fur-trimmed garment that leaves uh, all of her shapely legs and almost all of her ample chest exposed. After serving you, she hops away, the little fluffy tail of her garment wiggling most appealingly. Tom. Um. Uh, the cat, which has been rubbing itself in circles around your leg, becomes a man. He looks terribly embarrassed, stops rubbing your leg, and stands, stroking his long whiskers. He begins his thanks, uh, but then he spots a ball of yarn rolling down the stairs and excitedly dashes after it. And now Newt, any WT. Uh, the Newt grows in size and takes on the proportions of a compactly built man. He offers you a scaly hand and slithers away, hissing, restore one lost soul for the Gipper. Okay, the uh, look Gipper. down. Uh, yeah, win one for the That's Gipper. Reagan? I have a nickname for Reagan. Huh? The Gipper is a nickname for Reagan, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Um, Duck is waddling back and forth across the menagerie, its long, flat beak waves back and forth as it surveys the room. It's like it's sashaying, it's waddling. Um, it's... no, Drake. Drake. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, monitor canine use. Paw. Paw mitt. Paw. Um. Yeah. yeah. Mitt. From me. Have a good night, Starfox Rain. Take care. Um. What's another word for dog? Uh, canine. Not canine. That's not gonna work in a name. Dog. There's no real name that has a dog in the, his name. Up. Up. Mm -mm. Give me other names. Hold on. Let me let me look up uh synonyms for dog. I listed Canine, dog. hound, mongrel, cur, Kermit. Kermit. That's pretty good. Now batting the center uh, field with Kermit. Uh would you like to do the honors, given that you like the Muppets? Oh, yeah. Now batting the center fielder, Kermit. Kermit steps forth from where the dog's mitt had been a moment ago and shakes your hand with enthusiasm. Uh, you know, I've never been a lost soul before. Total novice, a raw rookie. He leaves away singing, it ain't easy being green. It ain't easy being green. Um, let's see, what's next? So we have a dog. So there's the Jock so on the Bill, call. he mentioned Bill, the Bill, the, the, the duck Bill. Yep. Okay. Um, and now a koala. Berry. Bear? Bear? Berry? Teddy's another name for bear. Teddy? Yeah, try Teddy. But why koala bear? That's stupid. A koala, koala bear, teddy bear. Bully for you, Billows the man like teddy bear. Speak softly and carry a big wand, I always say. Teddy gives your hand a manly squeeze, blows a trumpet, and charges away. I'm confused. How are we getting to teddy from koala bear? Uh, teddy bear? Koala bear? 
but then why not just have a bear? I don't know. Why would you have a koala bear? I don't know. Which isn't a bear. I know. Oh, I know. Um, look, is that everything in here? Yeah, so no. now. So we just got a couple more things to find. Um, I don't like the koala. Yeah. Koala makes me angry. Because, especially because it, it wasn't a koala. It was yeah. a koala bear. Uh-huh. So I'm like, you could have just said fucking bear. Mm hmm That would have worked. Mm-hmm. It's true. In West. fact, it would have made... West. Games are weird. West. Sometimes people make weird choices, I know. West. Waste of house. Number of male passengers are sitting in the automobile. Rider? But we did that. We do that. it with an H or something? Like Ryder? No? Maybe. Maybe it's an H. Maybe it's R-H-Y-D-E-R. -E he tried that. He did? No, Alright. Um, Alright, let's just go Let's go uh, north. North, we had stuff. We had stuff on north. Uh, check the look at automobile parked in front of the house. Is filled with male passengers. Uh, uh, is it van? Van? That's the name. Dreamship says they know the one with the four men. What you got? What's the four men? What you got? What's the four men? What four men? Where? The the men and the male passengers. There's not four of them though. Well, it could be. Number. Is it Carmen? Carmen. Oh. Damn. That's good. Okay. Ooh. The doors of the car fly open, and instead of a bunch of men, out steps a tall, dark skinned woman wearing a sarong. Oh. Orientalism. Uh, no, how, it's not Orientalism. And... How is that Orientalism? She's exotic. And that is a dark skinned woman wearing a sarong. Um, that's not that's not saying she's exotic. Perched atop her head is an absurdly tall pile of fresh fruit. An absurdly tall pile of fresh fruit? Yeah. Hold on. I'm Wait aware of this trope. She dances away, her hips swinging rhythmically. Isn't there's a there's a lady who like that? Yeah, there's a lady. Okay. Anyways, um, go north. We're in the forest, John. Yeah, tree's been felled and chopped into pieces. Um, the strong wind, pack of dog like carnivores. Um, dog like carnivores. I think like hyenas, um, fox, huh? Fox, fox. Uh, dog wolf -like gang, carnivores. wolf gang. Wolf is the dog like carnivores, and it's a gang West Side Story. Yeah, that's good. Ugh, my soul is restored. He licks your hand and bounds into the woods. Uh, look again. All right, so a number of trees have been felled. Yeah. Either for so cord. Cord. No. Like you have a cord of wood. Um, Gus is the wind. The gust. Gus. Gus. No. Guster. Um. No, Guster? That's not a name. Um, Burton Guster from Psych? Yes. It's a name. Breeze. Um, Wendy? Wendy? 
Wendy? I don't know. No. Um. Okay. So a number of trees have been felled and chopped into pieces, either for lumber or for wood. Bringing this so what do you call wood that has been cut for uh, lumber or to be burned? Th that's that's just firewood. Um. Oh, Gail's good. It's a pile of wood in a straight line. Kindling, cordwood, uh, fuel, sticks, twigs, twiggy. Twiggy's a name. Uh, what was the Gale. whipping? Gale? Uh, G-A-Y-L-E. Uh, very prescriptive. Woo, she says the wind. Woo, says the woman with the wind-tossed hair. What a trip. Thanks, Daddy-O, but now I'm going to blow this joint. She departs whistling through the trees. It, it, uh, Do we have logs, ideas? Log. Twig is a twiggy, and twig is the name. Okay, no, that isn't okay. Um, is there something in chat? Woodrow, Woodrow. Man comes walking down the line of wood piles. He wears a starchy white shirt, hatless visor, and thick glasses. Hmm, twelve piles, two cords per pile. Stacking fees, net profit of... Oh, hello, young sorcerer, and sincere thanks. By the way, remember that expenses incurred in saving lost souls is fully deductible. By the time you finish pondering the tax advantages, both the accountant and the wood piles are gone. Look. Um, okay, so, West... They're oddly considering the hour the sun is hanging on the horizon to the east. Yeah, it's now 7.55 p.m. and it's still hanging in the east. Dawn? Dawn. See, I told you that was one, Nick. I told you. I didn't say it wasn't one. I just said that it didn't make sense because the time was like the morning. Oh, all right. Now um, it does. Okay. And... um. You squint in the sunlight at the approaching woman. Her eyes blaze and light seems to stream from her hair, her face, her fingers. She wraps her warm arms around you, stoking a fire deep within you. Soon she's gone and the world seems like a darker, colder place. Okay, look. I think that's it. Okay, so uh, Southwest. Meadow. I get, is blackened and sooty a thing? I think that the hayfield blackened and sooty might be a thing. Right? You think so? Maybe. Um, go east and then east. So done. Oh, that was the living room. Sorry. Um, we already did this one. Charge something? Yeah. Uh... But what about the step? I think also that rickety stair is something. Why would it be a rickety stair? Creek. Uh... Rickety stair. No, I already did rickety for drink. Um, a rickety stair. feel like it is but i don't know well the only reason i i mean you might be right the only reason i'm suspicious it isn't is because largely the descriptions have just been of the space oh we have the dam too right did we didn't do the dam did we finish the river so go I don't know. um go west and then um then uh uh south Down by the riverside. That's not the song. But... 
Yeah, the steep rock wall one. Yeah. Um, Cliff. Cliff. How do you Heath Cliff? Hold on, Mr. Nipper's before you. Have you seen Noel? No, okay, I'll keep looking. What? Oh, somebody's named Noel. Oh. It's okay. a Rocky Noel. Okay, well, they gave us we a hint tried. there. Thanks for that, I guess. Yeah. Um, armful of women. Sort of woman that only poets dream of. Slipping a tawny arm around her neck, she whispers, It's a, pl a pleasure to meet you. I'm much obliged for helping restore Ost Usus. Someday I will repay you kindness. What? Why is there no L's? She slides down your torso to the ground with interest. No L. No. She has no L's in her name. In her thing. Oh, so it's like there's multiple jokes in this joke? Yeah. Look. I don't I feel like that's a stretch. I don't know. Even if I came to Rocky Noel as a like an option, I don't know if I would ever get from Noel to Noel. I would have been able to get to from Noel to Noel. You would have? Yeah. Noel. I just wouldn't think that I think of Noel as like a, a small hill. Like the grassy Noel. Yeah. The grassy Noel. Rocky Noel. Have a good night, Minty. Thank you. Uh thank you so much for the help. Uh um, Clifford. Clifford would have been good. Look for me. Look. It's still Clifford. It. It's still Clifford. Um, I'm guessing that, that was a... Uh, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, because, because you forward. There's a crossing. Yeah. Um, look. All right, entered to the north. Oh, this ends here at a wide clearing. Okay, so um, northwest. The Burnt Hayfield, Black. blackened in city. That's something. Um. Um, field. Hey, what is a hay fire called? Evan, no. Charred lot. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte. Charred lot. <clears throat> Yeah, Bob contains a house. It's a woman the size of a house. She runs over and gives you a smothering hug, plunging you deep into the cleavage of her enormous breasts. Every time you catch your breath, Charlotte is out of sight, although the earth still shudders beneath her distant footsteps. Okay, look. That wasn't what... There's still a fire left for part of the hayfield. What? It says it is twice. It which is what makes yeah. me very confused. Um, it's not an act, a description of what is there and the other is the thing. I don't know. Um, How would we know if it, was done? it would just change, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, so. Do we think the sign is something? Do I think the sign is something? Uh, no. Erection? Erection? That's not a name. It could be. That's not a name, Nick. That's not a name. It could be um, all right. Uh, let's see. Okay.
it's this one. I mean, the fires left part of the hayfield blackened and sooty. It's got to be Char something. So what's the name's of Char? So like we had Charlotte, Charlie. I don't know what Lee would be. Charles. Charles. The charred grass of the Lee. What is a Lee? What the hell is a Lee? Lee definition. An open area of grassy or arable land. Never would have gotten that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So what else do we got here? All right. Um, hold on. So if we have it all, do we have it all? I don't know. Do we? Okay. Um, Apparently not because nothing's happening. Yeah, exactly. Apparently not. Um, all right. So go northeast. Northeast. There's got to be something in the forest, right? Oh, oh wait. Here you go. You're in the midst of a recently planted forest. Blah 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 blah. Eighty cheer uh, islanders carry you off on their shoulders and read a proclamation which declares you hero of the year. Mayor Blaze presents you with the key. Why does it do that? Because uh, you hit you hit enter for more. No, I hit it once. And then it went blah, 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 oh, blah. Oh, we blah. present you the key to the island. Actually, he says, it's not the key to our island, but it is the biggest key we have. The conclusion of the ceremony, the newly restored souls form an ugly lynch mob and head out to find their banker. What? Okay, so what did we get? Uh, hit enter. And uh, inventory. You were holding a big key, an embossed key. Look at the big key. Form. Okay. Um, okay, so I guess we use that for something else at some point. So we need to save. We need to be done. It's time to be done. Um Yeah, sure. Key. Perfect. Okay. Um, Nick, we have to find a time to be able to do this again somewhere. Because we have to yeah. we have to we're doing great, making progress. Last time I played, I got only half of them without looking them up. Yeah, Minty was definitely helpful for that one. Um and I knew you would be too, Dream Trip. Thank you for Carmen, by the way. Um, let's see. So, all right. I'll be back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. ish, ish, um, for more Animal Crossing for that. Uh, then Friday night, 7 p.m. Eastern is going to be um, Gothic, the 2001 computer RPG. Nick, we're gonna get a time to play this again. You, you gotta, you gotta set time aside, Nick. We're gonna beat this damn game. It's been really beefy. There's a lot. It's surprisingly I, a lot. Not of... even... What is our score? Do our score real quick. Status. Status. Two hundred ninety-six out of a thousand. I have restored eighty souls. That's okay. Funny. Okay. Yeah, two hundred ninety-six. We still got a long way to go mentioned Carmen, but I always found it memorable and clever. That is a good one. Well, you knew it, Dreamship. You knew it. That's the thing. You knew it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you credit. <laughs> um all right, so let's go find someone to raid. Uh who's on? Let's see. Um we have Let's see anybody playing anything we want to watch. Do, 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 Let's see, Gunstar Heroes. All right, I'll be back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. or Animal Crossing. Ooh, fun. Uh, have a good night, everybody. And as always, to humor, take care. Farewell. Bye. Fa, 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 fa.
You say I am just a punk and useless joke. I'll say I can hang on just a little bit more. I still can walk. I just can't run. But if you don't need me, don't need me. Turning back the clock, go, go. A man who can join your flock, but that is my life is.